somebody listening to our podcast today went, uh, yeah. they were listening to the superpower one. Yeah. And then I said something like, oh, girls can't do science or something. <laughs> she's, <laughs> you like, did? she's like, Gush. I'm like, I said that? I'm like, obviously we were joking. Felicia liked the kale. Comma fuck. Uh, and also um, CLA media. <laughs> Because I, I thought it was spelled C L A I didn't, I didn't, Media. I didn't know there was a H an H in it. H in it. I mean, <laughs> like Hala. I was like, "There's is it a silent H? I mean, what the fuck?" I did. I, <laughs> Are we gonna put this in? Maybe. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I like it. Look, I like how we do stuff. We're talking during the intro, mother truckers. Side fives. Excuse me. Excuse yes. me, stewardess. I speak jive. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not falling from a banana in my tailpipe. It's a totally different movie, bro. I know. I cross the streams. Good evening, sir. Hi. Uh, buenos tardes. How are you doing? Muy bien. What is going on? What's going on? Hi. Hello, audiencia. Roxanne. Audiencia is you. Oh, you forgot. Uh, you messed that up. What I do? It's Rock Sanders. I did. I whatever. Hey, you sure. Check me out. Check you out. I am liking it, sir. Let's turn this down <sighs> just a hair. How's that? Is that better? Is that yeah? A little better? Welcome uh, to welcome. Not Conscious with Mark Poles and Woodsy the L. Yeah, what's going on over here? Is uh, that better? That's better. Sure. Yeah. I don't know what you're even doing. I'm twisting knobs and pushing buttons and just floppity don't touch fluting. mine, bro. I'm no never touching. Gonna touch your knob, bro. What are we talking about today, sir? Um, well, or before, are we gonna do? Are we gonna do housekeeping items? Yeah. Let us start by saying, "Welcome, hello, bienvenidos, bienvenidos, willkommen, yes. hello, v Gates, hola, hello, mate." Um, welcome to Not Conscious, everybody. Yes. How are you doing? Muy bien. Things been going well. Yeah. E two. Yes. Jays. Uh, tambien also. Okay. Tambourines. 37 tambourines. 37 tambourines. That should be our next album. Row. 37 tambourines. Isn't it all in a row? 37? Or is that thir- Send Out the Clowns or something? Send in the clowns. the clowns. How much is that dog in the window? Uh, arr, arr. So, <laughs> wow, this sounds, like a, this sounds She's like downstairs. a beer. This sounds like a beer Google's episode, It does, but sir. we're not normal. Everyone we're knows this. We're not normal. We're not Tambian. Uh, we're not normal We're not also. All. Correct. So uh, we... Before we begin on this topic, Jace. we would like to close the loop on CTE and you. Um, I am Jack's brain. I am Jack's brain on CTE. What Are is that from Fight Club? Jack's brain on drugs? On his liver? Remember, remember uh, I am yes, Sam's liver? Yes, I, I do recall that from the Fight Club. Yes, the Fight Club. So we, I do recall that from the 80s where they cracked the egg in the frying pan. This is your brain on drugs. That's Rachel, Rachel Lee Cook, by the way. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, Rachel Whoa. Lee Cook from She's All That. Oh, wow. And then she turned. I don't know what she turned, but she turned because she disappeared. Okay. Yeah, she did a movie with uh, Tim Robbins of Shawshank fame. And Bull Durham. With Ryan Pihilipi. And other stuff. What the heck was that called? That was like a... No idea, uh, but I know Ryan Phillippe. It was the one where they were computer programmers and Tim Robbins acted like Bill Gates who killed everybody, who killed people to get, just get me results. He didn't care. I everybody died. Know, dude. Hacking something. Something. Was it called Hackers? <laughs> there is a Hackers. So there was a lot of phlegm. It. There was a little phlegm involved. Okay, great. Before we continue with today's, we're going to close the loop on CT. You had an excellent point that I know you initially brought up in the podcast, but we yes. skimmed it and... T- Totally didn't circle back, and that's probably my fault. No, it's my we fault tangents. because we went two and a half hours, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole. So it was mentioned in one of the articles that uh, CTE and headbanging. And since I'm such a diehard metalhead, and I'm wearing an Iron Maiden shirt, which was not that wasn't done on purpose. So, but I know that you know I've been at, I mean I've been hundreds and hundreds of concerts. And I've seen people thrashing their hair around, thrashing their head around. And I, you know that, and I've done it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, even when I've been bald for the past 20 years or whatever it's been, yeah. I still bang my head. And because you, sometimes you can't help it. I mean, I even do it in the car. And I, at a certain point, you're like, oh my God, you're causing damage to your brain because your brain does move around inside your skull. So... 
since my head injury those years ago, I, I don't bang my head nearly as much as I used to. Now it's more involuntarily than voluntarily. Like cupboard, reaching for something, ducking. You try to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> but I'll be, now if I do it in the car at, and by, I don't want to say by accident, but like it'll, I'll just do it and I'll forget. And then boom, I'll get a little headache. Ooh, look at that sexy cup. <laughs> so uh, it's weird because I'll get a little headache and it'll remind me, hey, stupid, banging your head is really bad. So the point of this is that, you know, we talked about football players and soccer players of the foot style, um, uh, rugby, you know, f- uh, female softball, all these different types of sports that have, we had a, there was a, a baseball player that committed suicide because he was falling by the wayside. So it's it's multiple sports, but I think it also affects common everyday people. Obviously, there's um, there's tons of soldiers and Marines that have PTSD and they have head injuries due to training accidents and a helicopter crash, concussive or, explosions. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of there's a lot of things as yeah. well as car accidents. But for sure, I, I'm I mean my community, the metalhead community, is so small and so on the fringe and so isolated from the norm of society. But I really think in the coming years, it's gonna, there's, it's gonna really, really be a problem in that small community, which is my, that's my people. When I go to a show and there's eleven thousand metalheads and all you see is black t-shirts, it's like that's heaven to me. And those are, it's, it's amazing. And that's part of why I love going to shows because those are all my people, and they're nuts and they're psycho, but they're my nuts and they're my psycho, and I love that. But I really think there's going to be a problem with head trauma because of it. It's more dangerous, actually, than sports, in my opinion. It's self-inflicted. Well, it, that's I mean, part of it, but I don't think there's there's no studies going into head banging like there is in sports. Because sports, absolutely. sports is a money business, right? Absolutely so correct. No one's going, oh, what's the effects of moving your head forward and backward faster or swinging your arms around in a mosh pit? It's not happening. I know the... Um, and people, kids don't care. No, of course not. But I, I, I do know that the... Youth is wasted on the young, man. It's true. One of the... I think the bass player, singer for Slayer, he had a neck injury, so he had surgery on his neck. I don't know what the injury is from, but he can no longer bang his head. And he got criticized for that. How come How come Tom's not banging his head anymore? The dude right. had fucking surgery. Right. So he know. can't. You know, he could really, really, really hurt himself if he does. Mm-hmm. But before he had surgery, his head was going crazy. So... I just can't see how there's not going to be brain trauma on a mass scale in that, in that small tight knit community. It's funny you mentioned that too, because uh, two weeks ago I got dinged at a light. Someone rear ended me airbag didn't go off. So it had to have been very slow. I right. mean, the car just gently Were you rocked. at a red light. I was at a red light. It went green. I start and all of a sudden my car rocked and I look behind, I look at my rearview mirror and someone had contacted me in the back. Very small thing. My neck instantly started getting this tingles and it's directly due. I mean, it was the littlest thing and my head's like an eggshell because we've talked about our traumas. But so do you think it was the whiplash and that started? Uh, it just was, yeah. It was your just, head snapped forward. It was just, a, I mean, it's a littlest shake that I wasn't prepared for or for which I wasn't prepared. And the tingles went through and I had a headache for yeah. a day or two. You know, it's just, yeah. it's just how our brains work. Excellent point. Really excellent point. Um, anything else I on the head you, banging stuff? I appreciate you giving me the liberty to bring it up again. Well, it's very important because... Well, to me it is. Well, it's to, because it's that's to my everyone. people, right? Right, but this this podcast is for everyone. So mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. it's not excluding headbangers. It's not... Of course not. Inclu- it's inclusive to everyone. It's specifically for them because I am one. Right. It's I'm spe- the president of the club. It's specific- This specifically. podcast is specifically and Atlantically not exclusive. All of so the oceans everyone of is the world. welcome to our podcast. Yes. I wanted to touch on something. I didn't want to get too heavy on it last time. We're already heavy. We get deep. When we go deep, we go deep. Squats, bro. Deep, heavy squats. Um, I lost a, two friends to suicide. Um, 2017 and 2018. Almost exactly a year apart. One had a motocross injury in which they were in a coma. And they took their life. I think we're going to do a suicide episode someday. So he came out of the coma. 
Mm-hmm. And how long this was he long out? Of, how long was he out of the coma? He was in a. He, I don't know how long he was in the coma, but he. This happened in his teen years, and he was in his mid twenties. So you would say it was probably close ten, to years, 10 ago. years. Okay. Yeah, but regardless of that, we've talked about TBI just creating dementia, uh, dementia or whatever. Uh, depression, all kinds of problems. All kinds of problems. Behavioral issues. The other one, um, I'm. I am not going to name who it is until we do the suicide episode. I think. Because uh, I want to, I want to pay tribute to them, and I may reach out to the family before I talk about his suicide specifically, because uh, I don't know the stuff behind it. But um, it was a kid I grew up playing soccer with, so we talk about soccer. It, it just completely skipped my mind. We were, I was so focused on CTE, I didn't even think about this gentleman. He, he was, I think he was a divorced father of two, and his kids are probably under ten each. Wow! And he took his life. So. Uh, to lose that kind of, and he, you know, people claim, I say claim because I don't know. He was a good father, all that stuff, right? And his death, obviously, they're going to praise the guy, um, which I, I'm not saying he wasn't. I just right. don't know. Right. I can only tell you what they claim, right? Yeah. Um, he was he was a father. There's pictures of him on Facebook, and he's smiling and whatever. And then I see a later picture of him, and I was always the chunky kid. And I looked at a picture of him, and he looked like he didn't want to be here. If that makes sense. He, yep. he was overweight. He just looked not like the kid with whom I grew up. And he was like the coach's son. I mean, he was a star player. He played and coached. He actually played in like, you know, sub pro leagues. Wow. And he got that good. He played in college. He played, you know, a bunch of places. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to name names yet, but I think we're going to do a suicide episode because you and I both have talked about our personal suicide ideation. So maybe one day we'll get really drunk and be able to talk about it. Or maybe we'll just be really sober and talk about it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd prefer the former. What would you like, sir? Is is how how are we feeling on the on the CTE? Is there anything else you want to add about that the is headbangers? All, sir. No, sir. So when you see kids head headbang, does this change the way you approach people at a concert? No. Like I don't okay. I like people I mind do what they my, want yeah, to do. I mind my business and you know, yeah. I, I just keep to myself and I just enjoy the moment and I'm just happy to be there, man. I'm just yeah. shows are is my church. Yeah, totally. and that's where my soul takes a shower, and I'm just so happy to be there. I don't, I don't even care. And like you know what, I you know I've done it, and I, I've had. I remember one show. I went to Flagstaff to see Lamb of God 15 years ago, and I banged my head so hard my neck was sore for three days. My head Jesus. didn't hurt, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. that's so. I, I just leave people alone and do you know what? Do your own thing. And I, I'm not going to be, hey, I'm not going to hand out pamphlets. Don't do this. You're going to get a brain injury. You know? Yeah. So. True. I mean, what's what's interesting about you and I is we care about the good, you know, the quality of people's lives. But we also are very respectful of people's individual choices. Of and course. Rights and like that we're not going to, we're not anybody's father. Father. We're right. not anybody's parents. We're not here to, to lecture. And I hope that everything we say comes out of love. Oh, absolutely. I, I know. I don't know another way to say yeah. it other than that. But That's why I brought it up cheap. is because I care about my people. Yeah. That's the whole reason why I brought it up is because, you know, th- I believe that in the coming, if it's not already started in the coming years, in the, in the small community, that's my people, there's going to be a huge problem. Right. And And I don't think those are the kind of people that are going to reach out. I just think they're going to go, so my, how come I have headaches all the time? Why is my behavior erratic? There's going to be divorces. There's going to be drug use, more drug use, more alcohol abuse. And then there's, I think there's going to be an increase in suicide. And they're going to go, oh, it's just that heavy metal music. Well, if most people don't understand that metal is, is, is therapy or an escape for most people, it's not what drives people to do bad things. It's what people use as therapy. They don't, but no one understands that unless you're a metalhead. Right. So, yeah, that's I, all. I totally get it. Thank you for sharing. That. You're welcome. Because it's funny how innocuous, like swinging your head to music, sounds like. But, but just do this. I mean, and yeah. think about your brain hitting the front yeah, every time go, and then back, and then and then it's just starting to do this as the faster you go, or the harder correct. you go. That's really, really, really bad. That sounds so good. It's super bad, he's, man. It's no good. And he's I no good. love it. I mean, <laughs> but it's not a good idea. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, I love shooting firearms. I don't think it's a good idea at times. Whoa. Uh, there are people in the backyard. There's kids in the backyard. Across. Oh, thank goodness it's not our yard, because that means it'd be our kids, and we don't got kids. Thank Yeah, thank the gods. 
Well, today um, we, we have a couple new joiners, hopefully, that are listening in. It happens to be some from Britannia. Stop it. As well as Canada. So Yay. we've got, we've added our Canadi- Canadian presence. Yes. As well as our UK presence. We've got to learn so the welcome. UK national and anthem. Right as we do this. Yeah. That's not ironic at all. No. We don't believe in coincidences anymore. We don't anymore. believe in coincidences. And it l- literally happened today. Stop it. Literally? Yeah. We got a cool shout out. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Taj Jackson and Danny Oliver. Danny Oliver's in the UK. Yes. He's got a bright, beautiful British accent. Yes. He likes talking. I don't think I'll sound like him. But you I sound do great, like, but I don't think that's him. It's not him, but it's pretty good British. It is. It's a pretty good British accent, yeah. even though it's not him. Yeah. So even instead it's not of him, taking rhyme. the train, what do you take? I'll take the I'll take the lorry it's instead called, of a truck. Yes. A uh, tube? Possibly. Correct. Yeah. It wasn't well, that the subway technically, not Correct. the train. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. I I take the channel. That sounds like the, the dirtiest channel. thing. Man, I want to get in that girl's channel. That sounds like our metal band, Chunnel, mm. with our first album, 37 Tambourines. It sounds like Chunnel's got CLA media. <laughs> Don't touch that Chunnel. See, oh, did you know that Chunnel has an H in it? Uh, it sounds <laughs> like it, but Chlamydia does no, it's not. A, no, it's a silent Q, man. It's C-Q-U-N-N-E-L. C-H-Q-U- <laughs> no H. Q-U-E-L-L. No touching. So today... Yes, what is our topic, sir? We are going to talk about... In general, royalty, royal blood, and how somehow over the years of the world, and still today, somehow, for some ungodly reason, like your blood determines your wealth in certain areas, and what you fucking own. Holy shit, the things you can own just by having a specific kind of blood. I ain't talking O negative either, it's gotta be a specific kind. Specifically, royal blood, or UK royal blood, specifically. So not the Kansas City Royals. Yeah, and not the Crips. <laughs> not not, or the, not the UK Crips. Okay. The UK blood. Okay. Um, and what what made us even think about this in the first place, sir? I think you ran across some article that said 39 stupid ass things that the Queen of England owns. And we read correct. it up we read it like a month ago. And I'm like, what? She owns dolphins? Yeah, we'll get, get there. Get the fuck out of here, dolphins. Oh, my gosh. Which we, we can... did learn <gasps> being a dolphin is not a superpower. Oh, dolphinism? Yes. Is in line with vampirism? Vampirism. And wolf- wolfmanism. 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 Yes. However, however. Yes. He didn't bark like a dog for me. However, I want to know why he had to die. Uh, what? Ah! I did that just for you, sir. Dude. Bro, did that hurt? Yeah, I removed my ear. Oh. Was that too loud? It was. I was. I was caught off guard by the by the flipper. I meant to catch you off guard, but I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm. I'm, we, I'm gonna, I'll, we'll hug it out after. I'm gonna be okay. Okay, we'll hug it out after. But that that allegedly, allegedly, the queen owns what is all of them? Let's take a look. To let's go to uh, all the dolphins in the United Kingdom. What? How? Okay, are we I don't know, bro. That? A statue, a statute from 1324, bro. Come on, a pay attention. From the year 1324. Yeah, it's so relevant nowadays. We're like, dude, ten years technology is fucking eighteen quadrupled. And that was seven hundred years ago. Fuck off. Uh, yeah, yeah, literally seven hundred. That's it. That's years the end ago. of the podcast. Fuck yeah, off. Six hundred, six hundred ninety-six years ago. Oh, speaking. I of I was which, way off. I was off by four years. I'm so sorry. Speaking of which, yes. Uh, uh, this is <laughs> this is after the elections. This is after the 2020 elections. Thank effing God. I know we've done a couple of these that we're going to put out after, yeah. but I need to say this to you because Please. I love you. I know. I've shared multiple texts that I've received. Yeah. I've put them all into a folder, oh, I'm and s- I will be texting them ad nauseum after the election. I am going to text uh, every oh, number oh, like 800 oh, times. Oh, I have a question. Oh, sir, yes, sir, in me, the back. Mr. Peralta, in the back. What time will you be texting these people? Um, probably... Fucking midnight. Pro- probably fucking probably midnight. Probably fucking midnight, Lindsay Robinson. <laughs> that 12.04 a.m. Hey, congratulations on your epic failure in your election, yeah, by the way. I'm very, election that's month. the only one I give a shit the about. The only one I give a shit about. It's I just like, want to see this this person. I don't want to see anybody. I forgot yeah. she was even running, dude. I, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody lose, per se. Well, I want to uh, see her lose. I, I want to see I people who make care, excuses. Man. I just, look, I am sick and tired of bigger bullshit excuses for Bullshit they do. How about that? Do I have to be here for this? Yeah, we're done. So, <laughs> we have a couple things. Um, 
I'd like to start, if I may. At the I'm, beginning? I'm just going to start in the beginning. Uh, there was a gentleman. I, I started listening to when monarchy really started. And what happened was Germany kind of migrated up to U- United Kingdom, and they all fought each other, and the Germans, Germania. What are you doing here, I'm trying so? to help, Dick. You're, Germania, Germania, on the Adriatic, <laughs> Albania. Thanks, Coach. Cheers, cheers! Shout out, everybody. My favorite show. What a great show! Cheers is my favorite show. It's hard to do a not conscious when we're talking about fun stuff all the time. Well, no, it's not. No, we we totally we cross particle streams all the time, sir. All of the streams. So this gentleman was Egbert. King of Wessex. And I'm only going to start because I, I know very little. Going into the royalty, I hope that I'm going to get some feedback from some of our Britannia people. The our UKers. The, well, anybody. I like it. They're all good. In, in my eyes, they're cool. Our crack research team. Crack research team will need some help. Elisa, you going to get on that? <laughs> um, by the way, congratulations to Elisa. She got a new job. A new Yay! career. I'm going to say a new career. I don't know what it is. I was just a general general thing because I I uh, she likes anime, okay. And our four loop friends, yes, our four loop friends, our Theta's Eye friends are anime nerds. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I sent her a message say, "Hey, you might be interested in this podcast because they're specifically talking. They had an anime episode, but they oh, also talk awesome. about it all throughout. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, the it's North a community, Carolinas? everybody. Yeah, the Carolinas. Okay. Yes. So hey, we're all community. And she said thanks. She said I've been really busy with a new job. So congratulations. Uh, crack yes. research team. She may have to take a step back from our crack research team, but we're okay with no, that. No, not approved. Not approved. Still tu- still no touching. Well, obviously. Approved. Okay, so. So what year was the first king of England? On 827, he was christened king of Wessex. That's this not Egbert right, dude, general. Before then. No, 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 827, look. He was, no, that's king of Wessex. But then he won battles against multiple people. He first beat uh, this guy. Who's this guy over there? In eight eight twenty five, Egbert defeated Beowulf of Mer- Mercia. Don't care. Well, Beowulf probably is the no, Beowulf guy, right? And then in eight twenty nine, no, he, he defeated. In- hold. He defeated Wyglaf of Mercia. Don't care. And drove him out of his kingdom. Now watch, the Anglo Saxon Chronicle subsequently described Egbert as Bretwalda or ruler of Britain. So that's the first time the ruler of Britain came out. That so in eight twenty nine, eight twenty nine AD, okay, is when the, the initial, first king of England, when the initial like term of king of Britain, okay. basically came. Obviously, there were still multiple uh, families and still infighting. Obviously, Factions. even up until never surrender, whatever the freaking blue face guy was. Well, that was William Scotland. Wallace. Yeah, but but part and of also Britain. besides mm-hmm. the fact, right. I'm sure the Vikings showed up after that as well. Who, I don't even care. Okay. I just, all I care about is this Britain thing because it yeah. kind of, it, it chaps my heart a little bit. Okay. I'm going to share an anecdote, a little story with y'all, if I may. No. Okay. Well, you know, maybe I'll share it anyway, even if you don't care. Okay. So what, uh, this is how story time goes. Yes. Um, I was playing poker in a tournament and I'll a British girl on my left and the dealer was dealing around a circle the card hits my hand and flips over. It was going to go to this guy. He, It's a queen. He looks down at his other card because they had already dealt the first round. Yeah. It was another queen. This dude had the most irrational response to the dealer hitting my hand with his card that I've ever heard. These are my two queens. I'm British. This is my favorite playing hand. How dare you fuck up my playing hand? Just to let you know. So I'm not trying to upset anyone who loves the queen. And there's a lot of people who care about that shit. I don't. But there are people who do. But our job is to wake up, is to expose systems for what they are. Right? That's what we do. So did he get that card or not? No, they get, it's, a, it, it's a mixed, it's a misdeal, misdeal because it hit my hand and was shown everybody. But he was everybody. upset because he didn't get the card. Right, he would because, have had two okay, queens. Okay, now I didn't understand the yes. rule. He okay. would have had two queens. Now I get And you. he plays queens because... Da, da, da. It's funny because kings are better and aces are even better, but queens are his favorite hand. Fucking irrational, stupid bullshit. Anyway, but that's, you know, one, one British guy's opinion. Okay. Um, well, I'm just saying how irrational people totally, can be about. I, I get it, dude. The royalty. I understand. So I, I, before and we poker. really shit on it, we need. 
I want to address that I'm not here to shit on people, on the individual. Look, they're part of the, they, they took advantage of the situation. I can't, if, if someone gave me like houses and cars and dolphins, how, <laughs> <laughs> how would I say no? What if I just got a dolphin and none of the other shit? I'd still be pretty cool with it. Right. I'd want to be the queen. Yeah. I mean, I could be. Or the king or the prince. What sucks is I'm just a joker. I, the, I'm the court jester. Yay. <laughs> Yay us. So 829 is when the ruler of Britain was like a first initial term with Egbert. But I don't know much about the history. But I don't want to go into that because we want to talk about what's going on now. Because it is 2020 in my in my under, in my understanding. I From believe you're correct. So uh, you're a good calendar person. That is what let's let us let us uh, pull that back. Is that 89 plus 81 plus a long fucking time? Yeah, plus 11 1181 years ago. Let's 11, just say did I do the math right? Let's just go. Let's go 1200. No, yes, 1100. 1700, 1800, whatever, whatever it takes. Well, 2029 would be 200 or it'd be 1200 years. So. It's right before that. Yes. 11, 11, 11 billion. 11 billion, Alex. Um, would you like to uh, go through some of these at all? What you Did read? Did you want to touch on reading? the Egyptians or not? Well, yeah. Or do you want to say that for later? Well, let's, yeah, let's touch on the Egyptians and the Habsburgs of Spain, right? Okay. Um, what happened back in the day is the, the challenge that we're having is how does one's blood equal their status right or their wealth or their stature in the world right isn't that yes, kind of what we're absolutely. looking at how do you keep the blood inside uh within the family is just fuck within the family so multitude of royal uh royalties back in the day monarchs back in the day, egyptians the habsburgs of spain they had a lot of inbreeding going on you even found something about the habsburgs right yeah and i i've heard that i mean obviously i've heard that name before but I didn't realize that the that family ruled for three hundred and four years. I, I couldn't believe it. And I didn't I had no idea there was so I had no idea they were associated with inbreeding or incest or or having children within the bloodline, whatever you want to call it, you know, married, etc. So and the articles I was reading stated that over those three hundred years there was 3,000 different people that were all blood related and it led to a myriad of problems, which we touched on on a previous podcast about um, first, first cousin, cousin marriages. marriages yeah. But one of, one of the issues was that one of the Kings was known as the mad King because he was completely mentally unstable as well mm -hmm. as a bunch of other birth defects. But I, I had no idea that the Habsburgs were, that was, I didn't know any of that information until I started reading. I was like, wow, holy shit. And we're going to put up all the links onto our liner notes again, as we always do, because we're literally just touching up on this. I mean, there was, there was a part one, two, and three about royal incest uh, defects. Yeah. Th three parts. That sounds like a lot of problems. Um, the royal, the, it turns out the UK looks like they got away from it earlier than the others because the other civilizations or royalties kind of collapsed. And Obviously, did, the Egyptians and everything. Yeah, too. I didn't. I mean, I'm. A, I, I. I'm. As I've stated previously, I'm a big. I don't want to say fan, but it. Yeah, you're an Egyptophile. Egyptian and Greece and and Rome, I'm very interested in, right. and I don't know enough to say that I'm. Oh, hey, oh no! In three A.D., this was the Caesar or whatever. Right. I, I don't know. But that, that wasn't stuff. royalty. Well, right. He was. Well, no. It, it wasn't. It wasn't ever passed down by blood. Caesar, it was. Fought, it was you, no. Caesar was not elected. It was, but you were appointed, but it wasn't by blood. It wasn't it was by blood. Was it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Did they inbreed? I don't know, huh. but I didn't, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't I we'll know that, that there was inbreeding in ancient Egypt. I had no idea. Yeah. So, and then I read, oh, it's because they thought it was a religious thing because they thought their God Osiris married his sister. Like, holy shit. I've heard Osiris a million times because that's one of their gods. Osiris, Ra, Horus. Um, Isis. The other god. Okay, so Set, Isis, and Osiris were two brothers and a sister. Set was the bad brother. Osiris and Isis allegedly loved each other. Set killed Osiris, cut him into pieces, and then floated him down the Nile. Right, right. Isis, like, 
correct fished in the coffin put him back together and then fucked him and got conceived with Horus. Their son. Yes, right. Okay. Who by the way is um Horus Jesus? Hmm. Well, Let's probably that. but the fact but that's that a whole other the fact that Oh, hey, this god put this thing back together and then had sex with it is the most ridiculous story ever. No, Even, it's not. Yes the, it is. No, coming back to life after th- well, no, 3 days. No. Three if days. you die No, I that's the most ridiculous story until the one you just told me about. Oh. Uh, cutting somebody apart like Frankenstein, yeah. and then putting them back together, and then having sex with them. I that's don't think anybody up. believed that though. No shit. They're it's, god. They were gods. That didn't count. That's totally different than the human guy oh with, rising after three days, bro. Bro, I respectfully disagree. Throwing the flag. Oh shit. Can you know what? We're two gonna hug it out after this. I still love checking, you. Ten yards. But, do not pass go. No, you can collect two hundred dollars though. Yes, fake money. So I, the point is, I had no idea there was inbreeding and incest in ancient Egypt, and I had no idea that led to so many pharaohs that and hollow bones and weird and all these issues, and that also led to the commonality of how their heads were shaped like eggs. That's it, it was very strange. I had, uh, didn't know that. I also didn't know that brothers and sisters married and. Parents married their children. I, I had no idea, and so I started reading because this was this was the topic today. I didn't. I, I thought I knew a little bit about Egypt. Yeah. I didn't know shit. It blows your mind when you look at the incest and how young these people were under ten and dying, and so defective. Like eleven, twelve, fourteen years old, they're dead, and they were ruling. They ruled for two years. Right. First of all, twelve year old ruling sounds a little different. Uh, you know, teach your own. And then dying at 14 sounds awful. So uh, King Tutankhamun, known as King Tut, was the most famous of all the pharaohs. It's the one we all talk about. That is known to have issues, and his head was deformed, and he died very young, like at around 14. And he had like hollow bodes that had a weird, like, walk, I, allegedly. They, I read they an article that. they found out recently that he actually had malaria. Jesus. Which I don't even know how you determine that but oh okay sure we do some crazy things with science nowadays science science just don't get blinded by it no that's the worst that's the worst because yes. then you have a dog downstairs who barks at you when you oh come. it's terrible man okay we've caught co- we've covered some of the incest stuff i think we've covered incest enough with the first yeah, how cousin about we stuff don't do let's that go back anymore. to what, what these motherfuckers are. yeah i'm kind of over uh very let's not talk about that ever again that has. Let's, I'm good. Uh, I concur. Yeah. Let's close that box. Put it up on the shelf. Yeah. Burn it. We're good to go. Then you saw this list of current monarchies. Yes. What would you like to tell me about this, sir? Uh, what I, do you need? Where do you need me to go for you? Well, I think you should read that first. Uh, Commonwealth realms, or yes. the, this is a list of no Commonwealth realms. Okay, I will read that as well. Please, but I would also like to read this is a list of current monarchies. Okay. As of 2019, there are 40. Four sovereign states. Forty-four sovereign states in the world with a monarchy as head of state. Head of state. Forty-four. Of so them. there's forty-four countries in the world that have a king, sovereign states, or a queen. Yes. Yeah, twelve. Thirteen in Asia, twelve in Europe, ten in North America, six in Oceania, and three in Africa. Ten in North America. Yeah. Well. Canada, Canada is North America. Oh, sovereign states. So yeah, North America is each, probably all those down it's there. Prob- oh, See all that stuff? it's all in the Caribbean. Uh, is it? I, well, I don't. I don't know. I think it's in the Caribbean. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> it's the pirates of the all Caribbean. Of them, yes. No, but I'll read this. Uh, per Per Christopher's request, request, Commonwealth realms. Queen Elizabeth II is a monarch of sixteen Commonwealth realms: Antigua and Barbuda. The Commonwealth of Australia, the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Canada, Grenada, Jamaica, New Zealand, the Independent State of Papua New Guinea, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Solomon Islands, Tuvalu, and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Ta-da! The monarch is 16 of them. And I read them all. I'm kind of over that. Yeah. But, I really only care about two of those. There's actually more. Which ones well, do you care about? I care about Canada and Australia. Okay. I care about Belize because I want to move there. Oh, okay. So I'm not yeah, going to lie. That sounds good. Yeah. Because, you know, the exchange rate's good. Two to one. It's easy. Even though do everything's double price. They have some phenomenal tacos. Oh. I was there in March of this year. Yeah. <gasps> 
Just need a nice Chianti to go with it, brother. Uh, I will tell you, I don't just, eat conch, though. Yeah, I know. That's poopy. You I'm said, do they have fan. Belizean beer? Or they do have a Belizean what beer. What is the beer? What did you drink there? It's Belize, Belizean beer. They actually have a bottling company up there, and now you're going to call me out did on you, it. What would you compare it to? Like a uh, Corona, It's like a lager. Yeah, like it's a like a very basic lager. La- yes. Like a lager? Like a lager. Like a water, but a lager. Okay. So did you put a lime in it? Uh, I just drank it. So was it good? It was delicious. Yeah. Beers of Belize. I think this is the one. I think it's Belizine or something like that. Bellakin. Bellakin is the number one beer or whatever in Belize. And Coca-Cola owns the soft drinks. They own every freaking of course third they world do. country or second. Yeah. Whatever country. I don't know if it's, it's not third world. It's obviously no. an industrialized country, but. They have Wi-Fi. They actually do. And they have See? one country that does it. Or one company that does it. So that's not a monarchy in any way. Um, <laughs> or a monopoly. The king of Wi-Fi. The king. I am here to fool the queen of Wi-Fi. I want a little wand be like, I knight the, the cellular service of the Belizeans. Okay. My question yes. regarding. Right off the bat. Question. The, the Commonwealth of Australia and Canada. Yes. So. Do the residents of those two fine nations do part of their taxes go to the, the, the royal family in the UK? I believe so. I think so. That's some fucked up shit. Yeah. Well, I bet it's in one of those 39 things that Queen Elizabeth owns. <laughs> Besides the dolphins. So here's the Canadian dollar. I was looking for just Canadian currency. I thought it had. Uh, there there it she is. is. There she is. On the 20. It looks like Queen, Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth the second II is on the $20. Or 20 Canadian dollar it's bill. It's the $20, yeah. Whatever it is. But it looks like there's a bunch of Canadia. You border on the America. <laughs> Your dollar bills have Women on them from royalty known from the UK. You know what they call a one dollar uh, in Canada? Oh, a dollar? No. Oh, what do they call? A loony. Get out. And you know what they call a two dollar? A dosi? A toonie. A loony bro. and a toonie, bro. No. No, I'm not making it up. Beer Google it. I swear to God, bro. Uh, I beer. I believe you. You beer Google me. I beer. I beer Google leave you. I beer Google leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beer Google leave. That's oh, that's yes. the that's the catchphrase. I still think we're working on Googleites, yes, Conscientites. What what are sure Conscientites, Conscientites, and Googleites? I, like I don't know Goog- how to do it. I, I like Googleites. I I concur. But since we have two, we're gonna have to figure out knocked up bites. People Ooh, who Chris knocks up. People. I'm good with not doing Speaking that. Speaking of not knocked no. up, <sighs> someone. Oh, let's get in there, sir. I was bring trying it, bring to do it. A- Salute, oh, oh, we're doing salute. We have a check me out mug on a check. Look, this is the check when I am sexy and all this. You saw this last time. Um, did we? Or did that video not get done? I'm not sure. We'll find out in a month. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah. I am not. It's not your fault, completely bro. Completely incompetent, but I. It's we, not your fault. We bought a brand new camera. We got the sound levels, everything. And I'm like, oh, what better than the highest video quality? <laughs> bum, bum. So you may or may not see that video. Not sure. Whatever it, it takes. I screwed up. But I screwed up in a very legitimate way thinking we would make the... Because we're such beautiful individuals. We want everyone to see every P of us. every All 1280 or 1920 oh, of them. All the P's. All the frame rates. <laughs> all the P's. All 20 P, 10, 1920 by 1080 P's at 60 <coughs> FPS's. Stop all talking. of them. So that's where we're at. Um, monarchy. Now, you kind of brought this up a little bit. Or no, I brought this up to you, but it really frustrated you. I, when, I read you this, angry. when I read this section, I was like, mother trucker. If I lived in Canada or Australia, part of my taxes would go to the Queen of England? Or something, yeah. Is that r- really? Fuck They're you. They're on the currency. It has to have some kind of connection. I mean, the banks, I'm sure, the Rothschilds and the... Rothschilds. I don't want to get into those again, but um, do we know what uh, bir- do, that we, the birds a word? <laughs> we definitely know. Oh, well, I have a body her. Bird is a word. I don't know the rest of the words. I don't. That's, I think that's all they say in the entire song is that okay. the bird is a word. Okay, great. 
I'm not going to headbang because that'll hurt my head. Don't, so I'm don't not hurt do your it. brain, bro. Okay. So are you just going to move on from my question? No, your question is, is does that happen? I, my understanding is yes. I don't. I, I didn't read that much into that because I really care more <laughs> that there's any kind of monarchy whatsoever in any way that royalty outside of the shit needs to be taken back and redistributed, so, my I, friend. I, we I, are no longer I, in a fucking monarchy. No I'm, one owns anybody. Anymore. I agree. I, I'm totally fine with a monarchy. Let's say, let's take, uh, let's take the Czech Republic. So, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, Paris Czech Czech Mark, whatever you I, fucking My say. king of Czech Mark is very happy. He's very good. He redistributes wealth. He is only here to, to say hello and to cut ribbons on ceremonies and to dig up dirt for opening a breaking ground for places. My kingdom for a Czech Mark. So, let's say the Czech Republic was a monarchy and there is a king and a queen. And they actually did the business of the country. They were like the president and the prime minister and they ran the country. And there was, they were real decision makers and they put policy into effect and they, I think there still are some like that. Okay. Then that, that's cool. There but, happen to be in these, these areas. Sure. Whatever. I have the, my issue is in the UK and other countries like that, where they're just figureheads. They don't do anything. The UK has a prime minister and a house of commons, and those two offices do all the work. They're the ones that enact the laws. They're the ones that enforce everything. Correct. They're the ones that make sure the country run, the budgets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of like the US Congress, Senate. It, 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 you see what I'm saying? Yes. So in the UK, they don't do anything. So I'm okay with the monarchy of the Czech Republic, if King Checkmark and his lovely wife or whatever boyfriend, um, that they did something, if they were productive and they did things, they made decisions for the benefit of the people. But I don't know how many of those are actually real in the world. That so is, I would say a small handful. It's very funny that you say that. It is not funny at all. I'm taking the exact opposite stance. Fuck you guys. <laughs> First of all, no motherfucker should tell an individual who with individual rights like us in America what to do because of their bloodline. If I haven't fucking elected them because I feel well, that they are, could do the job best, fuck them. That's my personal opinion. So I don't believe in monarchies controlling anything. I, As a matter of fact, I'd only want them to be figureheads. However, that part also needs to be addressed. I don't like you. I'm sorry, bro. Do you do you I mean, really your beard think looks that good, but I don't like you. Do you really think it's okay for for people to be told what to do because no, the people no, ruling no, no, them has blood? Not. Okay, but that's what I said. If the if a king, but you're saying if they did something for the benefit of people, can, but you don't. If they do things for the benefit of the people, that's what I'm saying. What's the benefit of the people? That's very subjective, right? I mean, just like just like with our freely elected society, don't what's do better? It. I know. No, in our freely elected society, it depends society, who you ask. What's better for the people? Right. It depends but, who you ask. But my I know. point is. Let it, giving that control to someone just based on their blood is not how I'd want to do it. I'd at least like to have a debate about whether they're worthy or competent enough. Do you want bat eared Charles telling you what to fucking He's got do? Bat ears? Have you seen his fucking dingle ears? He's got fucking like. Uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> he sounds like the beginning of the Joe Rogan podcast. I think that's actually who they have. Wait the a minute. Beginning so of the is Joe he Rogan a bat podcast. ears or is he a monkey? He's got monkey ears. Whatever the fuck. Well, bat which, monkey. I don't, what? Charles ears. I don't know. He's a, okay. Maybe he's fuck? a dingbat. Look at this fucking thing. Whoa. Look at those fucking things. Does look that look young like he was? Yeah, uh, bro. That's we were, not him. Yeah, we were we were all that young. I oh, wasn't. Look at his hair. It's magnificent. We were all that young, bro. Look, yeah. Does that look like a guy who should tell you what to do? No. Yeah. Exactly. And and remember, you, you want to do something on Epstein, right? Yeah. Don't do it. I'm pulling him up. Andrew. I know, dude. I know, bro. Yeah, he's a line cop. Look at this dude. fucking. Look at this fucking. Yeah, he's a line cop. Fuck. Sucker. We know. Look at that top hat, though. Dude, we need top hats. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, that is That's true. That's phenomenal. Oh my God. And the lapel pit. Oh, look at that rose. Can we make this our. We should make this like our headline picture. I love just it. Just for this. Just I mean, the, that's a, he is a dapper he knows, son of a bitch. He needs a naval salute. It's one of these, bro. Boom. It's like uh, this way. Yeah. You know what's funny about that? What, what, nothing. The backdoor Commodore would punch him in the face. Shout out, Danny C. Oh, my God. Danny CG. Oh, Danny my CG. God. Danny CG. Punch this guy in the face. Look at that. This dude, that got, is an well, this dude got punched in the face by his 
why royal staffer hit Prince Andrew in the face. Well, did he deserve it? Uh, bro, he... What, what did he do? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I he did. I didn't know that uh, Beyonce got cheated on, dude, okay. remember? I don't know what he did in this case, but you watch this. I know about and that's that. that's all you need to okay, say okay. is so, he deserves to get punched in the face go back just to for the previous shaking picture, hands with Jeffrey back Epstein. The, go back to the previous picture. Oh, which one? This the top one? hat. The top hat. There is no Dane only Zool. Mm. Click on the... Uh, there is no Zool. There's oh, on, that's not it. Which one? No, you mean the punch in the face guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Okay, we'll do it. That one. Click on that. Why the Royal Staffer? Yeah. Gave him a black eye. I'll let you read it while I opine. Prince His Andrew is no stranger da, 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 of the wrong baby, 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 baby. Following serious allegations. Car crash interview, they called it. The yeah, one with Jeffrey it was Epstein. horrible. It was a bad yeah, interview. Yeah, it's like, hi, I did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like little girls. Uh, yeah, what a fuck. Okay, so no, who punched him? It was a, a royal, royal staffer. staffer. I'm sure they didn't So the royal name. staffer punched him because of the interview itself? Andrew's the queen's favorite son. Well, I don't give a fuck. Even though Charles is going to be the one that takes over when... Andy skipped university, went straight to college. We don't care. Oh, he went to <laughs> Naval College. He See, was the Marine you. Commando. Uh, naval salute, everybody. Uh, where's the punch article, bro? Uh, that's all I'm seeing, man. Andrew got into mischief. mischief. We don't care. This is a whole thing. I don't want to get okay, in. This is just, just a whole along. thing. We care. just came... In. But Top Hat City, that's what I do it. love a Top do Hat, bro. Top I've hat. never worn one. I do like a nice Top Hat. I do love a tuxedo t-shirt. We need we needed to have that on the first video Shh, for Halloween. Do you want to be Charles? And I can be Princess Di. Um, yeah, Princess We're Dirty Diana. House, right? Diana, Diana. Anyway, yeah, uh, Candle in the Wind. Live your life like a candle in the wind. That wasn't for her, was it? Yes, it was. I thought it was for Goodbye, Norma Jean. Well, thought, he rewrote it for Diana. After. Oh, I Norma Jean was, it was Norma Jean for uh, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. Right, it wasn't for her. No, man. he re he re he well, retooled was, it to get like. Remember, he needed hits just like we need downloads. Is that like a retweet? It is he like retooled a retweet. It's a re it's a retweet. It's a okay. retweet of the same song with tweet, different tweet. lyrics. It's Toodle actually a not but a non Weird Al Yankovic song. Yes, certainly. So, um, this dingbat. Anyway, my dingling. This guy's an idiot. He got punched in the face. Okay, he, we don't care. We. It is our opinion currently that he diddled girls and underage people, and he looked very guilty defending himself. Oh yeah, it was terrible. And he was directly oh, connected with Epstein. He went there multiple times. Fuck him. We hate all that shit. Okay, and well, we're gonna do an Epstein one. I yeah, know. I've been wanting to do that I for know. a while. I I feel like we have to go. I feel like we have to really be ready, prepared for that one. Okay. What do you feel about it? Do you think we just I've been opine ready for about four it? months? You're like super. Okay. I will let you drive and I will, I will I take love to the drive. back seat. You better get I'll in take the, the back door, Commodore. You better get in the Bugatti and hold on, bitch. Okay. That's a good idea. How about Epstein on the next Not Conscious? Okay. Shall we? Sunday? You, yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. What was the one I sent you about? I forget which one it was, but it was good. I thought that one was good too. Do we want to start? The top well, 39, bro. Well, don't we want to talk a little bit? Well, no. we're going to sprinkle these in as we talk about oh, what okay. the, I didn't know we like, were the whole thing about blood blood and equaling royalty. Now, blood for oil, no. I do get your point, but do you believe that anyone by their blood should tell, even if it's for the betterment of their people, should tell them what to do? If you're now, not I don't know, elected? man. You're making me question my, my theory. I do you, think it's it wouldn't hurt for them to take their wealth and go, you know, we want to help people. Yes. I'm going to sell this Bugatti and I'm going to feed, you know, or clothe or house X, right? How much money? I mean, the gazillions that they have. And how much do you, th how, what is your, what is your true feeling about this blood ownership thing? Do you think that anything they acquired up until a f they were free, until they had a freely elected, is okay? Anything they kept from then is good, but anything since then shouldn't be? How how, how would you want to do it? How would you do, you do it? Do you think that maybe choice? that each country should just decide their own what kind of government they want? Yes. Maybe they, maybe they well, want... Well, the Britons have a different government. They just have them as the figureheads, right? Yeah. However, all of the things that they still own technically as United Kingdom royalty... Is still part of the people's. So do does the UK do the people there not want the royalty anymore? Do they have they ever had like a ballot that says, "Hey, get rid of these fuckers"? I'm guessing that that tide has turned a little bit since there. 
they always love them because it, it's like they're the Kardashians for us. They're like Don't our celebrities. Don't ever say the K word again. They're our celebrities. Unless it's talking about Star Trek. Car- yeah, you but know they're, the rule, bro. They actually start with a C. What? The Kardashians start with a C. On Star Trek? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sorry, bro. I'll even pull that yeah, up as we're talking. It's not going good for me tonight. I know. Well, the point don't, is, just this. don't. Oh my god! Don't no, talk, but don't do isn't it. isn't the thing I don't though? Know, like, me. no, isn't the thing about royalty? Oh, you're fucking right. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I hate you. You're welcome. No, but the point that we're trying to make here is that this probably needs to be a little brighter. Sure. I don't know. Is that down or is that? I up? don't know. You're in charge, bro. Um, you're driving the light, bro. You can't even see it. It's so dark. I can't see it. It's so dark. Oh, there boom. We go. There, oh, we, there go. we go. Much better. Um, so what we were talking about is like, it's like our celebrities, right? I mean, our celebrities until they all got busted this year, were pretty much bulletproof. Well, and we love following them, the highs and lows and their, well, that's a whole you. nother story. Who are dude? you wearing? Well, basically celebrity Hollywood is our royalty. Yeah. Right, they own a shit ton, and not to the extent like country wise, not like that, but they do own that and our hearts. Like we want to see them rise, we want to cr- knock them down, build them back up. Yeah, is that dumb? It's that's a whole most, other podcast, it's dude. The dumbest. I don't like thing. that at all, dude. I know. Can we talk about that one sometime? The knockdown <sighs> to build up, because you know what's going to happen to us. We're going to go through like eight of those over the time of this podcast. Okay. Because what's going to happen is we're going to hit like, uh, what's that called? Uh, critical mass. Yes. And we're going to freaking like take off, right? Oh, yeah. And they're going to go, um, in episode three, even though he said right before he said it, he was joking. He said uh, something. Yeah. And we're going to be like, yep. Yeah. It's, on, it's <laughs> in the recording. It's right there. What you yep. Doing? How can I help you? Yeah, exactly. Like, well, okay. Dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. A 56-year-old man is being criticized for wearing a Hitler costume in his yearbook. That was 38 years ago. What do you, What the fuck? Okay, uh, I'm just saying this cancel a cult, costume. This cancel culture thing is getting out of hand. It was a it was a costume, and it was in his yearbook. And he's running for a specific political office. I'm not even going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I know. It. I'm just saying he was he's 56 now. What was going on in like 1982, 38 years ago? Uh, no, Animal House. Yeah, but like, think about that. Did we, we have the same? No, like wokeness. Uh, no, no, we didn't know. Sh- we don't know shit, and we keep not knowing shit until we learn things. That's why you can't like bring back the clock, right? My point to that is this: it's my opinion. Once each country got its freely freely elected portion of it the wealth should have like been capped. Okay. I'm not saying necessarily take, but they've got all these Windsor mansions and flippity flops, right? Windsor palace, but they really belong to the people more than they, the only reason they belong to them is because they controlled the people all that time. Yes. Once it became the people's by a free state or country, it should be everybody's. I'm, and this is coming from a pretty conservative dude. So this is coming from a pretty conservative. When guy. the first prime minister of England and the first, when the House of Commons be- came into existence, you're saying the the royalty should have faded away uh, to a larger extent than it did. Um, obviously, I don't mind the ceremonial shit because they have no teeth. However, like getting continued to get no paid, teeth? yeah, no teeth. Like they can't. They have no bite. It's all bark, no bite. <laughs> I Did thought you? you were make never mind when I thought. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, because Queen QE2? Because she's old and got dentures? No. What, what was I saying? <laughs> I never, I'll tell you later. Can you tell me now? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> so the House of Commons began in 1341. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> uh, probably mind. at that point, they probably been like, hello, get the fuck out. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. But there we are. Here's the here's the parliament established June fifteenth of twelve fifteen even. So, anyway, this is the stuff we're talking about, right? Once we started becoming free and, and all that good stuff, even though well, technically we were seventeen seventy six, we get our freedom, and they're still a monarchy by a large extent. The oh, queen oh, yeah. and king still run shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. this whole House of Commons. I think was just to appease people. I'm sure at some point it was probably like, hey, commoners, shut the fuck up. Yeah, Today. I wouldn't disagree with that. So, anyway. Um, but the biggest question is, like, why now would blood 
have any determination as to your competence. But competency. They, it doesn't. Of course not. Right. But at, at this point, blood determines, oh, hey, well, okay, let's just say, uh, who's the, the who's the king, who's the queen's grandson? Harry? Not Harry, the other one that's got two or three kids. Oh, uh, with Kate, with what's her name? Kate Middleton, the one with yeah. Kate Middleton? Uh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, the other guy. Philip? I, no. Sure. That's the, no, that's the, that's the queen's husband. I don't know, bro. Uh, he's going, he's the one that's going bald and he's not admitting it to the world. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth's grandson. Grandson? Uh, gotta, anyway, so they, so the grandson's got, the grandson has, it's, it's Diana's son. Yeah, the one with Kate Middleton. Prince Harry, uh, not Harry, William. William, William, thank you. So he's yes, got like two welcome. or three kids, all like under the age of six or something, right? So sure. un- eventually, those three kids are going to be in line to the throne to be the king of England. Charles' oldest is William, I believe. And yes, yes that is correct. So it so, will fall from QE2 yes. to Charles yes, to, to William, William. And then to William's children. Yes, and then William's oldest, Correct. male. I think it's yeah, male. I think his oldest male. I first? assume so. I don't know this line of succession, so I apologize for my ignorance there. The point. The, my point is this: is that Prince William and Prince Charles have they? I mean, they both went in. They both were in the military, but other than that, they've done nothing. They've had. So they literally silver spoon, right? Yeah. So I mean, I don't obviously don't know them. That's a dumb statement. So they might be very fine gentlemen, right? Except for Prince Andrew. Well, okay, yeah. Uh, I, that's my opinion. And guess what? Just like with other things that, of which I've changed my mind, right. I always yeah. take a strong stance about any decision I make. And with compelling evidence, I'm allowed to make that change of opinion. I, 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 uh, yes. Well, Sorry. again, I'm just, well done. I'm just saying right now he's a POS. Yeah. So anyway, opinion. the point is that these two dudes are in line to be the kings of England. Yeah. But... They don't do anything. They don't. No. They don't make decisions. They're they're a complete figurehead. But and, they have military. They but have. They but people still are paying for them to live a mass, a massive life of luxury. Yeah. It's not just like oh here's a little tiny flat down on blah 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 street in London. No, it's a fucking mansion of mansions. Hello, Twitter world. A flat is an apartment, an apartment in the British world. Yes. See, I was, just just to clarify for yes. the Americans, the Amis. Yes, that's us. Can I ask you to do me a quick favor, sir? I would love Can you to. try to T Rex your arms back, hit that light in the uh, on the right. I'd love to. Last switch on the right. Go. Okay, I agree with you that they're paying all this stuff, and you're going, what? You're buying this dude? You're paying their ex salary and this, that, and the other. Well, let us let's just go through. Here we go. Here's a couple of weird things as we go. I'm going to let you continue to opine. But in the meantime, Let's did you know about swans, bro? That QE2 owns all the swans on the River Thames. How about that? Why? Uh, just because. Dolphins. Okay. And, and uh, oh yeah. All the dolphins in the UK. <laughs> can can you tell me why? Uh, cuz she's the queen, bro. Here it is. A statute from 1324 which originated during the reign of King Edward II stated the king shall have wreck of the sea throughout the realm. Whales and sturgeons taken in the sea or elsewhere within the realm, except in certain places privileged by the king. How? The law still stands today and covers not just whales and sturgeons, but dolphins and poipoises too. That's porpoises. <laughs> when they are captured within three miles. Why, within well, three why miles. are they why not capturing? 11? Why not 11? Because that's international, international waters. waters. Yeah, but I'm saying why not 11 in? Why is it three miles? What the fuck? What the fuck happens between three and 11 miles, bro? Sorry, I'm I'm going crazy. Can we talk um, about Black Swan? This last one's for yeah. Um, I wish they owned the Black Swans in the world. Natalie Portman <laughs> and Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Hey, girl. Hello, ladies. This one for Megzi. Yes, please. She owns a pair of dorgies. A what? A dorgy. D o d o r g i s. And and that, and that is what? It's a motherfucking corgi mixed with a motherfucking dachshund. So it's a dog. Yes, a cross between a corgi and a dachshund. They're named Vulcan and Candy. Vulcan? And they can be regularly found at her side. Live long and prosper, bitches. Vulcans, Cardassians. Nope. This is like a Star Trek episode. I knew it. I'm excited. This is crazy. And it does feel like it's a Star Trek episode because the queen owns fucking all the dolphins. There's no dolphins in Star Trek. Oh, yeah, that's true. That was comeback whales, bro. Oh. Everybody remember where we parked? 
Boy, Trump. I can make aluminum metal. Cotton. I'm giving her all she's got, well, cotton. Double dumbass on you. And it's from Scotland. Sky got you going. He saved the Welsh. In Wales. Why wasn't a Welsh guy who saved the Wales? Because he's from Scotland. Yeah, but don't you want to be from? Yeah, but because he was in the show from 1968. Yeah, they should have had some foresight. Some forethought. They no, should have no. known they were making eight movies and no. they should have just thought ahead. Nope. <laughs> they only, you know that only was three seasons long? I know. That's so the weirdest thing. So Star weirdest. Trek is gigantic and it was three fucking television series. First, seasons. First biracial kiss. Whoa. Lieutenant O'Hora. Oh, and, I was going to say Captain, Captain Kirk. Kirk and the green bitch. Kirk and O'Hora, bro. Let's Spock handle it. Bum, 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 oh, bum, and uh, they own nearly all of London's Regent Street. Oh, half. Only, half. See, this is the thing. She only owns half of the UK shoreline. She ain't got shit. Why? Uh, cityscapes aren't the only real estate the Queen's portfolio. The Crown Estate also owns just under half of the coastline around England, Wales, and northern motherfucking but, uh, Ireland. But why? It just says she does. Maybe they purchased it and they fucking own it because it's under their name. My point is, because they acquired it from the people, to whom shall it go back? The people. The people. I don't think it's like <laughs> a fucking I was joke. Like, like, I, was that not a hard question? I think that was a... I thought, I was like, is this oh, a trick no. question? Oh, not a trick question, I was question, like, sir. oh my God, no. is, there, is there something I don't know about this? Well... Because I'm not good at Jeopardy, bro. We're not so good at Jeopardy. I'm not... I get the Jeopardy questions wrong all the time. Yeah, I'm not... No, I'm not good. It's too... Six uh, Royal the opera, Residences? The opera category? 200 handbags from Lawner. Lawne. I, I assume those are expensive. I'm assuming $2,500 a pop. Oh, poop. And she owns 200 Have you ever heard of a purse that's $2,500? I have. No way. Just now. Well, dick face no. before today. Mm, no, I've in the I up to a thousand for sure. I don't think I've ever heard of one over like four fifty. Coach Gucci. I mean, they're in the five to eight to thousand. I've never heard of one above five, dude. I've seen them up to maybe two at the moment. Twenty five hundred times two hundred, though. Think about that. They're twenty five hundred a pop, ladies and gentlemen. And it I'm gonna. Seems... I'm not doing the math because I'm. What not do you mean? So good. Why not? Because we've been working all day yeah, today. Working, like, yeah, working. Yeah, yeah, working. That's five. That's a half a million dollars in purses. I thought it was that, but I, I just want to check. One of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, please lay it on me. A private ATM. ATM. A private ATM. Automatic transfer cash machine order. Sure. Yeah, she doesn't look for a tenor. Oh my God, that's so funny. I was gonna sing two tens from Quinn ninety two earlier today. We, on the podcast. Why didn't you? Can I get a 20 for a real good time? Two tens. I'm not trying to go crazy. Ooh, ooh. I ooh, give him my honesty that I won't do lines, ooh, ooh. but I can't speak Shut the for this up. other person. It's raining blood. Hallelujah. From a lacerated sky. Oh, yeah. And like, what gives this lady the right to what, sit wait, at the back? Why? Where is the uh, ATM? It doesn't matter. It's in the basement, basement Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Palace. Courtesy of okay, Couch I didn't Bank. know where it went. I was just worrying where. Oh, okay. Why was it there? Okay, um, thank you. Move along. Because pre- I think she lives there. It's when she falls down the stairs, she can grab <laughs> money. <laughs> Help me, Lord <laughs> Jesus! Please, I'm falling down the steps. So, does she go to the ATM? Does she go to the strip club later to go to no. Chubby Dales? Well, there must be social distancing. <laughs> they wear I masks wonder, do you at think, Chubby Dales. Do you think Queen Elizabeth has a thigh tattoo like many strippers? Oh, she's got the tramp stamp, bro. The butterfly. Oh, yeah. That's a good a good call. I, oh, I, is it a butterfly? I would. I'm, a papillon. I I, I I don't know. You tell I, me. I'll tell you what it is. It's what? their fucking crest. Right? Oh, Smack sna- stamp right on her backside. That's, <laughs> that's dumb. You know. You know what I'm gonna ask for Megzy to do? Uh, I don't want. I don't want to know. I, I want a tattoo of a Nintendo controller back there. <laughs> so I want to be like. <laughs> I stole that. That's a joke from someone. I don't remember who it was, but yeah, it was a joke. Yeah, I've that heard that before someone. too. Also, the best seat in the house at Wimbledon. Psh, Don't care. Whatever. The Tower of London. She owns a fucking tower. How does that not belong to the state? Fortress of the Tower of London. It's fucking ridiculous. Unbelievable. 150,000 works of art. 150,000. So, there, so, so let's they, continue. What, so wait why, are, why do wait, they have all this wait, shit? Wait, wait. So they have, I don't know why they have all this shit. I'm asking you, bro. I don't, I don't and should know, they? I don't I don't know Wait. Anything. Where where does their money come from? What's their income? How do they do they do they live because of the taxes of the people or do they because there was one that thing that said they they own a lot of Regent Street. So do they get 
Do people pay rent there? I know I, I know that we're not going to know the answers to these questions. I'm just thinking out loud. We haven't delved that oh, deep. Okay. However, it would be my guess that all the properties they own could be rented out. All the properties they own could monetize themselves. They could be businesses in themselves. Touring, right? What about tourists? Like doing a tour of Buckingham Palace. Where does that money go? They charge, does that get Porsche? Does, right. Does, does do they the, charge 20 pounds or whatever right. to go on the tour? Does the royal family get some of that and the, the state gets some? No, I would guess it seems like the royal family seems to be skimming off the top all which ways. But. So these priceless works of art, they're in a museum. They charge people to go to the museum. Pro, yeah. But that, I don't think that stuff like that, like, okay, they charge to go to Buckingham Palace. They charge to go to this museum or many museums. That's not enough to feed her and the kids and, and pay for all their cars. And, you know what I mean? Like to pay for the lavish lifestyle that they lead. Think about what they're owning. They own half the shoreline, most of Regent Street. How does the shoreline they, make them money? I'm, what if they have businesses along those shorelines? What about renting the properties that are on those shorelines, right? Okay, so there's or, stuff I don't, built on the shoreline. I'm just trying, because I don't I don't know. Okay. I'm not, we didn't do this. I was just more concerned about the system. I'm, I'm very concerned about any system that gives power to people due to their previous heritage. Because you and I both have talked about our familial past. No. No, we haven't. But I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm just saying, like, it's a really lucky thing to be born royal, isn't it? Like, oh yeah, I get that, and we're lucky to be born in the United States. Yeah, of I course. mean, I am. I'm a first generation American. I was born here, but my parents were both born in Germany. I am blessed that I was born here. I. This is why I'm so vehemently um, expressive about my freedoms as an American. Because I could have easily not been born here. Or not been born. Not been born at all. But if born, not here, right? Yeah. I mean, definitely, if it's, if I can't, look, if I got it from my mama, I got it from my mama. I got it from my mama. No, no, my mom, no, if my no, mom stayed no, in no, Germany no. or East Germany, I could have been an East German, bro. Whoa. I could have been until 1988, nine. Nine, November 12th, 1989, I believe yes, it was. Sir. I could have been East German. So I am so blessed to be here. And with that comes my really strong opinions about freedoms. My individual rights, freedom of speech, religion, um, you know, the Bill yeah, of Rights, I, I, yeah. all the other amendments to we're the lucky. Constitution. Yeah. We're so fucking lucky. The Declaration of Independence, the pursuit of happiness. God damn, that's such a beautiful phrase. My pers I'm allowed to pursue my, my true joy as long as my pursuit doesn't impede on yours. Well, guess what? I think royal families impede on someone's pursuit. Now they're not American, so maybe you know maybe they don't give a sh maybe people don't give a shit that much about personal freedoms. We were born in a country that that took that that that's what made us our country was our freedom. Yeah. So we're a little different than most of the world, unfortunately. In this case, maybe people love it for better or worse. And you know what? Please email us. Send us, you know, review this. Tell us, tell us what, how we're wrong about this. I want to learn if I'm wrong about, if I'm misjudging what the Royal Royal family does and doesn't do and what they deserve and don't deserve. Tell me. Yeah. Tell check Mark. Check Mark. I accept all your criticisms. <laughs> what did you, you had something else you wanted to say? Though, no, I'm right? good. I, the, just the, the how, the, how they monetize how you, us. How do you make, how do they right. make money? Right. And they do, do get paid. What's their income? They do get paid something from the, they have to get something from the country. They are, so they owe, they still, salary? I don't know how it works. I don't I'm, think I'm, she, I don't want to sound so callous to be ignorant and not, I'm going to say I do not know. But they own Queen Victoria's sketchbook. I don't care about that shit. Anything good in there? Winning team of racehorses. Don't care. Car collection worth more than $10 million. That's probably pretty important. What the fuck? Car collection worth more than $10 million. How many cars so, is that? So she has half a million dollars in purses, we need to, $10 wait, million wait, dollars in back. cars. We need I'm to put, right we, no, go up. Yes. So we need to put post this picture because I, uh, there's a picture <laughs> of her in a Land Rover with no top, and she's standing there. My question is regarding the background. In the background, there are two cannons. 
from like the Civil War era. So, and a bunch of dudes and big, obviously the Civil War was not in the UK, but I want to know if she owns the cannons. So we have to post this picture. That's the army she owns. That's the what? That's the army she owns. Okay. Um, no, I think those are actually from like Napoleonic times. Hey, do you want to know about this text message that just came in? I would love to. Hi. This is Brianna with Unite the Country. Oh, yeah, they want to Friday the is the last day to vote early in person in Arizona. That's you tomorrow. can visit www.arizona.vote to find your early vote locations and hours. Make a plan today and vote. <sighs> Fuck. I'm so off. tired of these fucking texts, it's man. Not, it's not that I get texts. It's that I get texts I don't want. I didn't ask, for which I did not ask. I concur. When you text me, you can text me midnight anytime you want, sir. You can be like, hey, well, motherfucker, um, I'm stuck in Flagstaff two hours away. In the snow. In the snow, <laughs> and I can't get my car to start. And you know what I'd say? I'll be there in two hours and three minutes. Yes. Because it's going to take me three minutes to warm up my car, get in there, and get going. Yeah. But I will be there. Yeah. But don't fucking send me a text Telling me what to do and what not to do. Hey, Reply, bro. Reply, stop. Fuck you. Hey, bro, I'm in Flagstaff. My car will start. Can you come get me? By the way, tomorrow is the last day to register to vote. <laughs> if you do not wish if to you come. you can't get me back by the you, time I need to vote. If you do not wish to come get me in Flagstaff oh, or register to vote, please te- please respond and stop. That is. <laughs> please. I'd be like, hey, Chris, how you doing? Reply, stop to end. Like, <laughs> how many times do, you, do oh, friends sh- text each other that way? It's like, hey, how, how's, how's your weekend? Reply, stop to end. I'm like, going to start no doing that. that, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, my actually. God. I'm going to start doing You should that. have that as a signature. You can make I a text should, signature. I could. You know what? Let's both do that. Let's see. Okay. Let's fuck with people and then see how many people actually write stop. <laughs> I have a feeling and then when they say when they say stop, I'll be like, yeah, fuck off. Or like, yeah, I was just kidding. Well, if they really want to stop, I'd be like, holy shit, I don't know if they're serious or they're joking. And if they're serious, I don't want to. I'm any- not. I'm going to be like, whatever, <laughs> bitch. Bro, I don't need friends who aren't friends with me. Yeah. So if you wanted me to F off, I'll I'll just off. Okay. F. Yeah. You know? Totes. But uh, yeah, so in correct. In cannons. the background, there are cannons. And it looks like Napoleonic. They've got the, yes. they've got the fezzes with the feathers. It's yes. just straight up. Boom. I just found the cannons funny. The cannons are hilarious. And I love that the Range Rover is not like the Pope Mobile with the little Tupperware on top. It does look like Robo Pope. It's it's just cut off. Yeah, it's just cut off the top there. But 10 million fucking dollars. Here, three Rolls Royces, two Bentleys, custom Range Rover. That's the one she's in. Yeah. (sighs) Who cares? Would you like a tiara, sir? Yeah. On on your sweet 16? I would look so sexy, bro. How how many diamonds? They have have one? Yes. It's a tiara. Now, isn't a tiara smaller than a crown? Uh, Or is it a female crown? I believe it's a female crown. Okay. So a tiara, I always thought it was just the front piece, not a whole. No, it does. This picture looks like a crown. It looks like a crown. So I'm going to call it a tiara. A T crown. It goes all the way around. And all the way around. Sure. All the way around. Crowned. Crown. A Kriana. Sure. Uh, Tiara. Did you you look at that number? How many diamonds? I did. How many diamonds? There's 1,333 diamonds. That sounds like a lot. Yeah. No, you think so? Even Ooh. if they're small, it's a lot. It was originally made for George the Fourth to wear at his. I didn't know tiaras Lavish were worn by men. So I guess the good news is I just learned tiaras are for dudes. Well, they're unisex. Oh, unitard. They're non-gender. They're non-gender specific. <laughs> it is what's that? The, what's the bathroom stalls we can do? Now? Non-binary? No. What's unisex? What's, yeah, unisex. Let's go unisex. Like a unitard. And it, and it was uh, made for George the Fourth to wear at his eighteen twenty one coronation. So that was what two hundred years ago. They still have a fucking crown tiara thing, covered in thirteen hundred thirty three diamonds. I don't care. I know you don't care, <laughs> but imagine a, a estimated six hundred pieces of Fabergé egg yes. collection. Those things are fucking expensive, man. I don't even have one. I, I don't even know how to spell Fabergé. F A. And I don't know how to spell egg, Midia. so it's not. <laughs> Is, is there it, an H is it, in yeah, there? Is it like, is it F, <laughs> F-A-B hey, media? Hey, watch out for that chick. You might catch Fabergé. F-A-B media. I think it's how it's, <laughs> how it's spelled. With, yeah, there's a silent H in there, I think. Yes, too. I it's believe it. Fabergé. Yeah. Fabergé. F-A-A-H-Q-U. Westminster Abbey. Don't care. What about it? She owns it. it. She owns it. Hyde Park. Fuck it. Gold record. Because she was on the, what's your She was uh, the 17th member of the Rolling Stones. 
Golden Jubilee celebration. Elizabeth fifty year fiftieth year on the throne in two thousand two. So she she has a gold record. Fuck this. Okay, wait. Is this is this next one the stupidest one on the list? No, because I think we now know from where COVID came. Is <laughs> is this one <laughs> more dumb than the dolphins? This one makes less sense to me. I don't understand why you'd want that, let alone like brag about it. There's two reasons. Unless vampirism is a superpower. Oh my god. Go ahead. If vampirism's a superpower, this could be why. Lay it on me. But why don't you tell why don't you tell the, the audience? A bat colony. A colony of bats. She's an animal lover. I don't know if you knew that. Uh sure. She apparently likes to catch them with a butterfly net. That's where her tramp stamp. So she has a tramp stamp of a butterfly and a a butterfly butterfly net net. as they dart around her summer home. That's ridiculous. So I guess she catches and keeps. She doesn't catch and release. Is that where the bat cave is? Well, it's probably where a a bat cave is. A bat cave, but it may not be the bat cave. Do you think one of her bats could have flown to wherever? Wuhan, China? Well, flown somewhere else, then caught by some hunter and then cut up and won uh maybe ozzy osborne bit one motherfucker that guy how is that guy alive still uh he's well well preserved that's how he's still alive and then he sings like you can understand every word isn't that i don't know how the fuck does that happen i don't know i would really he's got some show on xm and i want to listen to it but i can't understand him i can't even understand my own words are coming out of my own mouth And the world's largest clear-cut diamond. Ozzy owns the world's largest clear-cut diamond? Along with the royal family. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, go back. Yeah, I know. I went back. How many carrots? Not uh, It's weighing, in- yeah. And I don't know what a carrot weighs because, once again, research versus riffing. We didn't do as much research on this. Well, we I, know talking- what a, I know what a one, uh, okay. one okay. carrot okay. diamond looks like. Well, okay. So take that and multiply it by 530.2. <laughs> Because <laughs> this the this great is, star of Africa, this weighs in at five hundred thirty point two carats. Is that bigger than the ocean? Rose, Rose. I would think so. Jack, I'm so cold. I'm sailing. I'm oh. so cold. Fucking yeah, and you sank two of the fucking sister ships that were unsinkable. You morons. Good, nice, nice engineering, Britain. <laughs> 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 One got sunk by a U boat. So like. That one doesn't well, count. Well, yeah, you can't. I was like, you can't hold that against me, dude. <laughs> it really doesn't count. The Jesus iceberg, Christ. probably. But the U-boat, not so much. On fire. Oh, and it's only worth somewhere in the region of $51 million, by the way, that oh diamond. Oh, my God. Aren't there, like, homeless people and stuff that they could take care of? You know. And crime. And- couldn't, couldn't they open up a free school? Like, I'm not one. We've talked about this before, right? Someone comes up to me and goes, hey, man. Yes. Can you give me some money? I'm like, you know. Are you hungry, buddy? Right. Come on in. I'll buy. I'll buy you a drink or lunch. I will buy you a food. A Snickers. I will not give you money. I'm right. sorry. Yeah. I just won't. Like maybe I'm a douchebag for doing that, and maybe you do need the money more than you need the food. Maybe. In my opinion, I just I just know what I'm giving you, and I I'm okay with that, and I'm happy to give whatever I can. Yeah, I get it, dude. But I can't. I can't do. I can't do the money thing. Now that said. I'm not up for like giving homeless people money or giving them houses. They need to be, they need to have an education or cause yeah. anything physical that they can't take with, like that literally can be spent or gone. can be, can go over time. That's not something as long lasting. An education could be something where they help, you know what I mean? Like yeah. mental help or some other kind of help for them, for, for homeless people. That's my opinion. I get it, dude. Um, that said, yes, housing as part of that, sure, right? Maybe like another work program where they can they can start flipping burgers. Maybe, you know what? Maybe fucking Queen Elizabeth can open up subways all up and down the shore. What about Jersey Mike's? So you go down the shore. No, because they lost Jersey. They'll be reminded of New Jersey. Oh. And New Jersey's no longer under the reign of British. Oh, I'm so They'd sorry. be so upset. <laughs> Actually, they do have a jersey, so maybe it is Jersey Mike's. Yeah. I, How about Jersey Andrews? I just don't like Subway, dude. We've a Jersey this. Charles. Charles. Yes, Jersey, jersey Charles. Yeah. Jersey Charles. Um, I don't even know what this means. We don't care about that one. Yeah, I'm just going to skip that Good one. idea. Oh, speaking of which, Jersey. What? 
They own an Aberdeen Angus cow of all things. What does that have to do with Jersey? I don't fuck uh, Jersey cows. I don't oh. fucking know. What, 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 why is that even on the list? While on official visit to Canada in 2005, the Queen was presented with Aberdeen Angus Cow at the Calgary Stampede Agricultural Show. Sadly, she wasn't able to bring her new gift back home to Buckingham Palace, so the cow remained in Calgary as the founding member of the Stampede's own herd of cattle. That's so dumb. Who cares? That's so dumb. Like that, no. <sighs> tortoises. She owns tortoises because she's an animal lover. Congratulations. I love tortoises. She's got her own fucking flag. Great. Oh, how about this one? Four Guinness World Records. This many. See the this backdrop? Many. This many. I thought for a second, I was like, I thought it was four Guinnesses, like beer. That's what I thought. Four I Guinness. Like, uh, yes, we're going to have Guinness some beer, breweries. bitches. Yeah, like four Guinness breweries is what I thought. And I, I was, was like, like yes. excited. And then, no, I'm not excited. I was also very excited as well. And then she screwed the pooch. Not the cor- dorgies. Not the dorgies. Not the no. dorgies. Or the turtles or the porpoises. No, but definitely the, the cranes or whatever the fuck bird she owns. The swans? Oh, the bats. She owns a bat. She, oh, she fucked no. A bat. She batted a fuck. Oh, God. The queen has been presented with and currently holds four Guinness World Record titles. She's officially the world's longest reigning queen, oh, the okay. world's oldest reigning mo- monarch, the world's wealthiest queen. There's a problem. There we go. Is do we need do we need to stop? and then and then appears on the money of more sovereign countries than any other person. See, that's fucked up. Again, where does that money come from? The people. Like and if I, you're, I, I hate to again I, if you're. Let's it, say you, it came on the blood of backs of people at some point, regardless, right? But let's so say that shit should be fucking stripped. They get a. Very menial salary that they can live their fucking life, right. do their fucking shows, their op eds, their their boat shows, and their fucking car shows, and then go the fuck home. Boats and hoes. I, Boats and hoes. I'm really not even mad at them. Like it's not their fault they were born into it. Shit, it's not their fault. It really isn't. It is. It is their fault that they're perpetuating this myth but that they you, fucking matter. If they're if 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 the commoners of the UK and or other countries, which I don't know that for sure are paying if their harder money is going to these people, don't you think there would be like a backlash or something to that effect? Sir. Yeah. We have elections in four days. Uh, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Whatever. Dude? Five, days, six. Whatever it is. five, six, days. five, 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 five. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Whatever it takes. Okay. Well, two ten, two twenty. Right. Yeah. Um, People are voting on propositions and they have no fucking clue. Well, I they read all. Go, the, I read it all. Yeah, you. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm weird. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I read. I read all the fine hi, print. I'm, hi. An, I'm an asshole. Hi, yeah. Chris. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Look, we have never, not a single time, claimed better ever. No, we are different. But I. We yeah. are happy to say we're different. But we always look for the strings. We look behind the curtain. We take. 20 extra steps because we know how humanity thinks and we care. And the truth is part of us not having a families like feeds into our ability to do so. I'm not struggling. I'm not struggling making a, making ends meet to feed three mouths, four mouths. Right. Uh, yeah. Megzi and I aren't working together to make the kid help the kids get to college, saving for a college fund. You and I have a little more time, but we we've also made our life that way to be that. What does that have to do with voting? Because people are so distracted. People are so distracted in the real world. Do Do you know if Prop Two Eight is good or bad? Do you know if Prop Two O Seven is good or bad? I, I do. I, in my opinion, I read the fine print right. on both of them. But I, my, I have an issue with what you said because, okay. in my, in my opinion, and this is probably way wrong, but I would think that parents would, and I'm not a parent, so a huge caveat. I would think that a parent would be would want to be more involved and want to be more educated because the vote is going to affect their children. Yeah. Not only themselves, like th- like this vote for marijuana and the vote for education and the vote Sounds for- Sounds good in theory, the, yeah. the, the, the vote for a, I think there was a vote for a bond in, in yes. the city I live in, something yeah. like that. So there was three props on my ballot. So, and I read the fine print on all of them, you know, and I voted the way that I wanted to because of my own personal reasons. So- don't you think as a parent, as a mother or father, you go, hey, what's in the best interest of my children and their future? Don't you think they'd put the kids to bed and spend 20 minutes reading the pros and the cons and, and making the educated goddamn decision? 
you're, I can't hear you no more, bro. You know what they do? Now I hear you. Yes, what do they do? They watch the commercials that from the treasurer of Arizona saying, Prop 2 is bad because it's going to make small businesses go away. All it does is tax people over X amount of dollars. Yeah, small business owners happen to be in that bracket, but that doesn't affect the but it's yeah. personal. Right. It doesn't affect the fucking businesses, you fucking liars. But people just listen, right? And then the other side of it is, oh my God, children are going to be so much better. Like, no, no people yeah, do not fucking read. Look, they're going. Yeah, turn off the TV. Once again, we go to the easiest thing. Think, I, if I may, may I give you a scenario? No. Okay. I'm Why do you ask me? Well, because. You're going to give it anyway, no matter yeah, what I say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, here it is. Yes. You yes. have four Rugrats running around, oh, and you've got college God. to worry about. And the oldest one is only like 11. So you're only seven years away from the first one, and the and, uh, college rates are running rampant. Yes. Increasing exponentially every day. Yes. You're busy. You, got your th- you just came home from your third shift of the day. Your wife's working two shifts a day, right? Like, let's be honest. There's a lot of people oh, out yeah, there like that. Absolutely. We are not. We are lucky. True. We are... Look, we've be, we've had less roadblocks because of our Caucasianness, to an extent. I'm not going to lie. Don't start, bro. I'm, that's uh, not okay. an untruth, man. I I grew up in a suburb. I had better opportunities. Than well, others. I okay, don't. I, I'm just going to say that. How about I, that? Because it's a class thing. I All beg right. to differ because I my parents worked really as much as my father was a prick. My parents worked really hard to make a better life for me. Yeah. And I work really hard and I've been lucky in the fact that I've made some incredible business contacts and friends in my work life from the day that I got out of college. I agree. Wait for it. And when I when when I make that friendship and that person is my boss or a coworker and they go, "You know what? You know what? You should give Peralta a chance." And I prove myself. And then that person moves to another company and that person hires me again. I prove myself again. And I can, I prove myself every single day that yep. I'm invaluable. And then that person, so you, A, don't never burn a bridge. So it has right. nothing to do with my color. Not I, I, necessarily, I, 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 no. My, dude, at my job, I don't care what color you are. I don't care how tall you are or your said, gender. Your, your gender, do your job. I want to be clear about what I said. We had a better starting point. Because both parents were in our lives, both parents worked hard to give us a good life. That's my point, right? But my dad was brown, dude. I know, but he was a military man. He was respected in the community, and he was a hard worker. Yeah, but he was- in his community was brown, was it not? It was, but he was also- What, What I'm simply saying is- I'm look, I'm not try, I'm not making this a thing. I'm saying that you and I have had both our parents in our lives. They work really hard to give us a good start to our life. That, right? Are, yes. the, are those true statements? Yes, they are. That sets you up for a better life down the road. If you start behind the eight ball without say one of your parents are not there. Yeah. For example. I understand. And this isn't a specific race thing. It's no, a no, class, no, no. whatever it, it is. It can be anything, right? I'm saying you and I, we we've had we've been luck we've been fortunate. We've had a fortune life. We've taken it further because we work hard. We haven't asked to be entitled. Every right? day, We're, dude. Every day. Look at us here. We're here at uh, six o'clock after six p.m. After working two full time jobs, like full time jobs, right? Yes, sir. So we are working hard. We want to make this work. I agree with you, and I'm. I I apologize. I understand what you mean, but and I think we had a better starting point because we had those people in our lives, and not everybody has that. I. I... You can disagree. I think, I th- oh, you can totally disagree. I think disagree, they're two man. different. I think I think I'm what conflating. we're talking about right now yeah. and the, and the topic of the podcast oh, yeah. are two different stories. Correct. But I, I also. But I'm think talking that, about how you're born, right? Born, yes. Being born yes. into royalty, we were born into not shittiness. Well, my, I I see your point, and my dad was. My dad was born into shittiness. Yeah, as, and, as and, was my dad. Right, yes, uh, okay. obviously. You, do you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, both your parents coming correct. from. From the middle of World War II. Escaping East Germany was one Germany, of them. Germany, bro. Whoa. My dad born in 1940 in Hamburg. Yeah. I mean, like, that is. There were bombs and shit. Because of that, they set our life up better. I'm yes, not. I'm, yes. I'm just saying. Yes. They definitely had. I don't know how my dad. I don't know how my parents did it. We got to get their story, dude. I, I called the, my mom. She's she's going to come on. Because the days are. 
drawing thin. I'm they sorry. Are. I know. That's not nice. I Well, she's uh, she's in Florida right now. She's on her flight Florida. home. Florida. Uh, she's on her way home right now, flying. Safe are travels, Madre. I'm hoping. <laughs> How soon do you want to get her on? ASAP? Yeah. Okay, we'll get her on Zen. We'll get it done. It we'll do be, it. It I've already be, talked to her about it. It might be a two-parter, man. No, it's going to be a eight-hour single. Look, <laughs> this, the, the good thing about this, this is how it works. <laughs> the good thing about this is, and and my mom's story is uneffing believable. I'm not kidding. I, I cannot wait for her to share that story. But to your point, you are correct. Your parents, def, or your dad, definitely, right? My parents, definitely. But I will say for me, I can't speak for you, but I feel like because we went to the same college that we had a little bit less of obstacles in our life to start. Or we had a little more help in the way that both our parents were there. My parents really sacrificed. F- yes, for for me to be able yes. to do that. Right. And then I had and good student parents loans, do that. So I sacrificed too. Correct. So and we all look. You know, I'm like, not taking I, away your hard work ethic. We're here. Like I said, we're here at six thirty on a. On and it a doesn't. Thursday I don't night. think that has anything to do with anything. It has with color, creed, blah blah blah. It has no. to me. It has everything to do with work ethic. Right. What I just mean though is we were born. I into a family unit that stayed yes, together. Sir. Yes, sir. What we we well, actually ah, made the for most better or worse. Right. <laughs> we had other issues that came oh, out of it. Shit, dude, that's some fucked up shit. We need to talk about that at some point, but that'll probably happen after the whiny years. More patron. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm all I'm saying is like Prince Charles born a fucking prince. Yeah. Just because he came out of that vagina. Or his father's semen. Or it came from his dad's. No, actually, it was from the woman's vagina because the the king isn't the king. It's the husband's wife. Or the queen's, oh, yes. the queen's husband. Yes. He's I'm not. Sorry. What's his name? Elizabeth II. Yeah, what's his Prince Phil- Philip. Philip, right? Yes, he's not the king. Yeah, he's you're not, he's you're a correct. fucking prince even, and correct. he's the wife or the husband of the, of the, of queen. the queen. He should be Makes the king. Sense, but which is funny because the king's wife is the queen, isn't it? It is. I don't understand. She's not the princess. Right, that's what I'm saying. I, never underst- I don't understand that. It's a whole other thing. Maybe some of the... Newly UK people can give us a little. Yeah, uh, correct us where we're wrong, please. And you know what I'm loving today, man? What's that? You and I are having some differences in philosophy, but I think we're we're ironing them out, man. Because I don't even like to iron. I'll 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 pump it out. I don't like ironing. I like wrinkled. My simple point was yes. Why in today's world does what vagina out of which vagina you come matter? And I apologize that I took your sentence and I went on tangent city. No, I want I want tangent. (laughs) The, the truth is, I'll, I was trying to make a simple analogy, uh, I, but, yeah, but we did raise a good point. We should do a podcast about what we just talked about, because maybe we have some things to iron out, bro. I love oh, you. Man. Okay. Amira, Amira. Ah. Um, British Seabed, by the way, she owns. Uh, I don't know why? if you knew that. Probably the weirdest thing on this list. <laughs> no, it's the, not. No, the, weirdest, back, the, the British we, Seabed is not weirder than the bats, No, bro. we haven't even gotten past the bat colony, and they're calling this the weirdest fucking thing? <laughs> I don't think so. technically owns all the UK's territorial seabed through the British Crown Estate. Fuck you. From the mean low watermark out to a distance of? 12 nautical miles. Which is a mile past the international waterline, and... Eight, nine miles past where she can get all the dolphins. I'm very confused about this distance from the shore that she can. It's very. How does she get 12 here and three there? I don't even get it. Offshore wind farm. Offshore wind farm. How do you. Oh, the continental shelf. How, how? In 1964, the Continental Shelf Act. Hold on. No. 56 years ago. Yeah. My car is in 1964. Wow. Hold on, Mike, I have a car that's as recent as this shelf act that decreed that the crown as an extension of its ownership of the seabed could lay claim to the UK's continental shelf up to a distance of 200 nautical miles, 200 nautical miles in some places that wait, 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 wait. ultimately bears rights to the subsoil what and minerals that lie in the UK's marine shelf while the government lays claim to coal, oil, and gas deposits. What the what hell? What the fuck? I don't what know. the fuck? There had to be some rationale like, oh, we found deposits of blah, 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 blah. We need to claim it. Right? Coal, coal oil, and gas feed the people, the commoners. Well, no, but see, that says that that's owned. Right. Not that's why the government has it. Right. So the government kept... What just keeps the people working for them? What well, keeps them in wait, their no, little, no, wait, wait, in wait. their distracted bullshit while all the minerals 
are the wealth of the of the of the, the royalty. Go- no, 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 no. Read it again. The Read co- it. The queen ultimately bears rights to, to the, the subsoil and minerals, and minerals that yes. lie. Wait. In the shelf, right? While the government yes. lays claim to the coal, yes, because the government, the coal, oil, and gas is the government's to let the people keep working for them. Oh, do you know what I'm saying? Like now keep your home you. so you can work harder. All that shit. Okay. So coal, coal, oil, and gas, natural, natural monopolies or utilities in yes. this case, okay. keeps the people warm and alive. But the thing that actually has the value, the minerals, belong to the royal family. It's weird. Like, why are the minerals not being used to pay for social programs or to help their people make the make the universities less expensive? Help with the school system. It's all about educating. It's all about the children, right? You and I, once again, we always talk about how much like how we're finding how children are like not being helped the way they should be helped. But look at that. And the gold mines all of Scotland's gold mines they own. All that is is value. That's just monetary bullshit that can be used so much better. Don't you think William Wallace would be pissed? William Wallace, he crush you like a water. I, I love you. We've got a piper. I always have a, I was well. He'll be crying to self to sleep on his big pillow. It's huge pillow. Pillow, pillow. <laughs> hey, he eat. He's like a hot and dry toothpick, that boy. <laughs> Um, but this is what I'm saying is like all the things that they can just siphon off the top that don't actually affect, like obviously coal that's oil and gas I, that's so I, that answers my question about where they're getting their revenue. Yeah. So all this stuff, yeah. gold mines, I mean, 25,000 acres, 25,000 acres of forest chop it. No, I'm sorry. Do not chop it down. No live within it, yes. but have people live there. Have a community live in the forest. Communes Get, and shit. Yeah, call it Sherwood 2.0. Right? I love that. Thanks, bro. I asked for that high five. Thank you for giving it to You're me. You could have easily just pulled it away. No. Crown Estate also owns around a quarter million. Oh. What? Oh, oh shit. Quarter million acre. Okay. So they own 250,000 acres no. of rural land. Quarter of a million is 250,000. Yeah. Quarter of a okay. million. Okay. Total, total rural land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of which is used or leased for agriculture and mineral extraction. Used and leased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cha-ching, cha-ching, yeah. cha-ching. I just see those dollar signs, right? She has a Guinness Book of World Record, the wealthiest fucking person or whatever. Around 8% of the crown's rural holdings are forested, however, meaning the queen owns and controls roughly 25,000 acres, 95 square miles of British woodland. That is 30 miles that way and 30 miles that way. That's 900 square square miles. I'm sorry, 90 square miles. So it's... it's they're off by five? I'm totally fucked up. Never mind. Don't listen <laughs> Your math went downhill? My math went... 91 is eight miles each way. Yes, it is. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. Don't listen to me. It's going to be nine, okay. Nine miles this way, nine miles that way, that's 81 square miles. Yes, it is. Uh, 10 miles is 100, obviously. So it's got to be between nine and a half each way. Let's do that. <sighs> I'm, hey, I'm, I'm gonna cool. go now. I'm gonna go now. Someone get the calculator and do the square root of ninety five, and that's that's how many miles each direction. There you go. If it was a square. Oh, speaking of squares, whoa! To do do they own Trafalgar Square? Da-da-da-da. Why? Why? Why you say the site is now occupied by one of London's most famous landmarks? Was originally the location of the Royal Stables and Falconry. Muse. What are muse? Is that where they? That's where they hold the. I think that's the bitches. That's the no, I'm bitches. Just no, that's no. where they hold the falcons. Yes. So, is ooh, is falconry a super superpower? Yeah. Yes. But vol- vampirism is still off. Correct. Off of wow. Falconry, like the ability to summon falcons, or the ability to become one. Ca-ca! It's like kind an Aquaman, of, but totally no, less worthless. I would like to refer back to Buck Rogers. His friend Hawk. Oh, Hawk, I like it. You're oh, yeah. welcome. May I refer to someone in Buck uh, Brown? Aaron Gray. Bitty, 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 bitty. Hiya, Buck. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Buck? I'm um, bitty, 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 bitty. Hiya, Buck. This is Twiggy. <laughs> I get to look up Aaron Gray's skirt all the time. Wow. <laughs> bitty, 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 bitty. Hiya, Buck. Okay, that's okay. Right. I, I had to do it three times. That's no, you it. did. Yeah, because it's like it's Beetlejuice. It's not like Beetlejuice. It's Halloween. It's not. In two days. Yes, it is. Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, uh, this one doesn't. I don't give a don't fuck. Don't care. Wedding Queen dress. Victoria's wedding dress. You can have it. Fuck you. Have the dress. And have the armor too. Henry the Eighth. Henry armor. the Seventh. Eighth. Seventh. The Eighth. It looks like three, three. eyes. Henry the Eighth. I am. Henry, I am. I'm sorry. Henry V. One one ones. Henry the Eighth's <sighs> armor. Well, how old is that? Fifteen forty. Once owned by Henry the Eighth to accommodate the king's increasing waist size. No. The armor was some point widened with a two inch section of plate metal inserted and riveted into the back piece. Oh, what do they own? This reminds me of. The Last Crusade, laddie, when they're in the church in the castle. Remember when he's Seamus or whatever, going, you got the tapestry. We're here to see the tapestries. We're here to see the tapestries. <laughs> I don't know why tartan and tapestry uh, make me think. I'm here to see the tapestries. Queen Elizabeth II has her own tartan. Thanks to her, their Scottish roots, the British royal family has a, as a whole has their own style of tartan named Royal Stuart. 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 What? If you Stuart. want my body and you think I'm sexy, come. come on, baby, let me know. We've got a piper down. Piper down. Hug a solo. <laughs> Which has apparently been the official tartan of members of the current British royal line since the late 11th century. Beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. The queen herself don't give a shit. Black and gray and red pattern tartan named uh, no, Don't Care that was designed by her great-great-grandfather, Prince Albert, in 1853. Is he still in a can? Probably. Excuse me. Do you do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yes. You better let him out. Is your... I'm sorry. Bring, Hello? 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 Is, is your refrigerator running? You better catch it. <laughs> Did I blow your joke? Banana phone. <laughs> Banana um, phone who? <laughs> uh, banana phone. Banana hammock. Mm, oh, no. that's not good. Not so good. <laughs> so I think, okay, asked and answered, sir. I'm going to let you read this one just because you're the one who asked the motherfucking question. Millions. How How? How does one gain wealth or continue oh, getting wealth God, or continue getting? Going right there. As usual. It, uh, dude, we, we smack it up, flip it, and rub it down. Oh, no. Ooh. Hey, poison. No. Po- 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 poison. Poison. BBD. A boys to men. ABC. BBD. East Coast family. We all skits be. Wow. Now cruising on down the street. Jet black spends plenty of friends and all the fiddly steaks you can eat. For all the youngsters out there, that was a uh, Bell Biv DeVoe from that, 1994. That was boys to men also doing Motown Philly. Oh, you cross the streams? Well, it's that's in the boys to men song. Oh, it is? Yeah. I, and, all, and all the fiddly steaks you can eat. Uh, Where else? Motel Philly oh. back again. Yeah. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Doing a little East Coast war. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I apologize to everyone because no. I, I also feel shame. You should, you dipshit. Millions of square feet of retail space. Through the British Crown's real estate empire, the Queen owns. He scooched down. Hey, bro. The Queen owns Zip. or part <laughs> owns I'm not doing that. Oh, 14 that. retail parks and three shopping centers, totaling 4.3 million with an M million Hellion. square feet of retail space. I would think that that brings in some money per year. God, that's per day, per month, whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of pounds, bro. Uh, that is a lot of hashtags, sir. Correct. This is. I 4.3 million square feet of retail space. So like let's let's be let's be really it's not kind. Like the gallery a mall? Yeah, let's be kind. What would you say? $10, $20 a square no, foot? 40. It's more. I know. Let's be kind. Let's just do $20 a square foot. Yeah. They're getting 80 points, 86 million a year just if it's full. If it's well, if it's full, correct, but also a $20 a square foot. It's, say it's 20 pounds, it's already with a conversion rate, it's even yes, more. Yes. So just 80, just 86 million whatever, right? Units. It was 20 units a pound uh, or per square foot. Yeah. That right there, 86 million. I mean, we're talking and we're we're not I think we're being on the low end. I really do. Just my opinion. Even at 25 million, it's over a hundred million dollars or twenty five dollars a square foot. Yeah. So what the fuck? That how why how how other than their investment strategy, maybe they did at some point. Like, how the hell does one just acquire 
that? Uh, I mean, I, I, should, if they're paid by the country, should they be allowed to maybe have Maybe they're not paid by the country. I mean, they ventures. make so much money doing other things. They stole it from the people from the beginning. So technically, it's the country's money. Regardless of... They got it through war and whatever, but they they took it from the people. Well, yet, yeah. It just wasn't that kind of system yet. Well, they're still taking it from the people because they're, the people are paying rent. That's correct. They are still taking it from the people. That's, what I'm, that's my point, though, right? They, they continue to allow this to, be, to happen. Yes. I, I don't understand. And please help me, people in the UK, to your point. Like, I'm confused... I am, <laughs> I'm confused. Please crop my belly out of that. You look hot, bro. I, I'm confused how anyone would allow that still to be going on. I wouldn't, wouldn't you just go, guys, uh, you, you got this from us a long time ago and we want it back. Yeah. That's when's there going to be an uprising? Well, I mean, well, I have, we don't need an uprising per se. We just need a pushback and then we do it through the law, the, the house of, commons and the house of lords can get together and make and decide on what's best i mean that makes sense to me the 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 government the state should should do something about that but the the royal family can pay all those people off to leave them you're right to not so they Mm -hmm. need to people with ethics and morals need to be voted into office to get to eliminate the royal family right not eliminate them like kill them but to make them no longer royal Right. Excuse me for the fucking Freudian slip. Shit, I'm not. I don't want to kill anyone. Jesus. You know, you know that's gonna. You know that one's gonna bite you. In, uh, in episode right? forty-seven, yeah. the bald guy said, blah, 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 yeah. "Fuck off." Yeah, and the guy with the short hair said, uh, <laughs> "Prince Andrew diddled girls." Can you do your your um, Chris Tucker impression again? You understand? We're coming out of mouth. No, the one when he was singing all the gibberish. Oh. <laughs> May I share a story about that? Yes. I'm not going to do story time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this, we we haven't mentioned one of our we haven't mentioned one of our special <laughs> listeners. Who who have we not mentioned so far? Oh God, who Tatiana. Tatiana, where does she where does she reside? Oh, Canada. Also owned by the Queen Elizabeth. God help us. Sorry, Tatiana, but. She sent, I get, I get a message in the twits and it's like, bling. She goes, I, I just got to the part where you're speaking gibberish and I thought something broke on the recording. <laughs> and I just like, uh, I was drinking. That is hilarious. Spit take. Tatiana, that, awesome. that was so funny. She's like, I thought something broke on the recording. Cause all yours. Yeah, that's and I'm like, just, it wasn't. And then, I, and then I sent her the Friday thing. Yeah. I sent her the clip yeah. from Friday. It's which, Angel Dust. <laughs> by the way, it's like this long, and I went. I know, that, but I went. Yours is better. Where? Where? Oh, there we are. Yours I went is that way better, dude. Thank you. I mean, it's so I, funny. I shouldn't have done it the second time. I should have left it at one no. and walked off. I should have no, left on dude. a high, just like George. Just like George, I should have left on a high. No, it's awesome. Um, I asked, it's so good. I asked for a replay. A replay. So I don't know why they end on these two fucking things, but. Anyway, we're getting towards the end of the list. Uh, she has a baptismal font. She has her own font? In eighteen Like Times New Roman? Yeah, it's like... Like Ariel? But I think it's Times Old Royal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, something so like that. it's like that, but different. You know what it did? What? It went, Back in Times <laughs> New Roman. Back in Times. Uh, 1840, Queen Victoria commissioned a silver gilt font for the baptism of her first child, Princess Victoria, the Princess Royal. The lily font, as it is known, is now part of the royal collection under the ownership of the queen and has been used as a baptism of I almost don't all care. members of the royal family ever since. At all. No, but we believe in baptisms, right? Because we believe in Christ. Uh, no, I believe in trial by fire. I believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, Judas, and would you like super salad? <laughs> Can you can you just close this list out so we can really get philosophical <laughs> about the end of this? Just, just finish it because I'm done. A national collection of mulberries and the seabed was the weirdest fucking thing. I mean, this is uh, and I, mulberries is that weird? I think bats wins, bro. Yeah, bat. No, no, no. I'm but I'm just saying they claim the seabed is the weirdest with all the minerals and all the money that's in it. I'll take that over Mulberry Bush and a fucking bat colony any day. The site is now occupied by Buckingham Palace was once partly a vast mulberry grove planted by James I in the 17th century. 
in a failed attempt to rear his own silkworms. King James, probably not the Bible guy, has been unsuccessful. Uh, isn't that how it was translated? I don't know. King it could James? be a different King James. I don't know, bro. How do you think they got the king the head of the church, bro? It could have been. Now I need to look that. It shit could have been King James from a different country in a different time. There's could have been 97 King Jameses. But the palace's connection totally to true. these notoriously difficult to cultivate fruits lives on. In 2000, the queen personally requested that the head gardener at Buckingham Palace plant a definitive collection of mulberry bushes. And the rest of it I don't give a fuck about. 29 different species. Species. I like how she personally requested. I, Hello, could, <laughs> could you please get me 29 different species of mulberry and put them up over there? Lovely. You can also purchase Queen Elizabeth's autograph on the eBay. If you, you give oh, a wow. shit Look at that. And about I that. don't give a shit. How about that? It's the final countdown. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, man. Are you doing dun, dun, dun. Gob? Are you doing Gob's magic dun, dun, trick again? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you didn't watch him or Arrested dun, Development. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get back to the philosophy. King James Bible translation. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was James the no. first. Yes, you it fucker. was. You're correct. So just FYI. Same. I was way off. Same King James. <laughs> Dude, like. I was off by okay. 50%. Do you know what I had? I had like a one in eight billion chance that that was the James. To your point, I had like none of the shots to hit that. None. Now, that was that thrown behind the back that somehow yes, went in. Fucking court. bounced three. Yeah. And fuck you got the Dr. Pepper. Yes. You got the, the Dr. Do Pepper. The crazy Dr. Pepper scholarship. scholarship. From Jules. Okay. Just, so let's talk about the philosophy of this bullshit. Why? Because we had talked about the whole point of us to bringing this up is like, how does blood determine status in this case? They, it's weird because like they're what I feel like they're being helped by everyone, right? Like, let's look at our family. We had parents, so we did. Yeah, we are determined by the blood of our parents, but also the nurturing by our parents, right? Both of our parents stuck around and raised us, right? For better, or for worse. In, in in many cases, instilled many good values. In other cases, maybe helped stun us a little bit or maybe not, you know, maybe delayed yeah. potential or whatever we yeah. want to call it. Um, but but that every, said, every human there. being has that. Unless. The behavioral, unless, I mean. Right, but what a father ditches. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. A, a mother or, dies in an accident. I was just going to say that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying Correct. in a lot of different ways, Correct. this isn't the case. Now, that is unfortunate. That is truly unfortunate. But how in today's world can wealth like this be garnered by the blood? You know what I mean? I get it, dude. I am on your page, like, bro. I don't know. Because it was one, I mean, I brought it up. It just found it odd that, oh, look at all this weird shit they own. And then we delved deeper and then we're like, wow, that, that it's, they got their hand in a lot of shit. And it kind of goes back to the systems, right? We have talked about a little bit about, we have not talked about the cabal yet, right? Which is a conspiracy. You and I probably need to talk about it at some point. Uh, no, we have not. Are you familiar with the Cabal? Uh, it's a book, right? The Rothschilds, Rockefellers. Oh, that whole. No, that whole group, I I did the, read. The people, I did read some stuff about that. The Chase guy, the Fed. Is you know the, the whole the 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 Chase. What's J.P. Morgan Chase guy? The Fed guy. Yeah, all that stuff. Rockefellers. It's basically the, Vanderbilts. Right. right, because debt is what here it is. a group of people united in some close uh, whatever ring of the Cabal. The secret government of the Royal Papal Banking Cabal. There you go. Here's another one. Is once again, there's your Pope. Um, so here's the stuff, right? These are systems that we need to address. I've I've said many times, I I don't defund the police. I don't burn something down. We need to create a system in a vacuum on its own and beta test it. And then use that to replace, right? Yeah. Like we can't just burn down well, and then we and expect we can. We can. We can. That may not be a good idea. That's probably not the best idea. I, I mean, agree how with well you. is that? Like to get to space, we had to like test okay, rocket wait after so, rocket. But your 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 statement about you can't just burn a system down. But in this case, you're talking about monarchy. Right. And in the UK, they have a prime minister and they have a government already yeah. in place. Yeah. In this case, what you would do is you would start the conversation of we are going, you are going to reallocate all the things you've taken from the people back to the people. 
Let's discuss and come compromise on what those things are. We will let you keep certain things, but everything's negotiable, just like a divorce, right? Afterward, you will get a limited budget and you still keep whatever we've agreed that you can keep and we move forward as a people. I think that's pretty rational. Not to them, they're going to lose something. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you completely. They're going to lose something, but who's who? who deserves more? Yeah, I, I, obviously I agree with you, but if I'm trying to think from their point of view, they'll lose their fucking minds. Right, but and they don't have a choice. At they this point. would do. I, I would imagine they would do anything they possibly could could to stop it. And how much power and control do they have? They have plenty, which we're finding because they own everything. Mm-hmm. So they pretty much have their hand in everything, and and that's the thing. Can this can this change? Can this can this type of policy change without something really drastic? Because I I do not promote violence. Of course. I do not promote violence. I believe in, we've talked about the Bill of Rights. I did a march in Phoenix over the summer uh, for George Floyd. I did it to support the right to peaceably assemble. Yeah, as we've stated before. As we've stated before. I just want to be clear where I'm at. Right, I get it. You know, you can argue with me about why I did it, whatever. I'm going to be clear about why I did it. Yeah. The right to peaceably assemble is is a right that we have fought for, that people have died for. And I will, I will peaceably assemble with people because it's a right. And that's amazing that you can practice that. And I wanted to, I wanted to experience that. And I was so fortunate. It was peaceful. It was great. The right to speech, as long as you do not incite violence or anything. So I can't, we, we can't, I mean, it may come to war. I don't see how it could though. I don't feel like they have physically enough people to make a war out of it. Who? Who? The Royals, if okay. the, if the U- UK government says, guys, yeah, like when's enough enough, right? Like, honestly, they just have that sit down and go, we're going to reallocate. Look, they do eminent domain with trains and, and highways for houses All in the, the United time. States. And, and I'm that's, sure they do that in the UK. Oh, I'm sure. But they have also limited, more limited space. So they probably do it even more. Yeah, right? They probably yeah. think eminent domain may, they may have that. I don't know what laws. It, will, it would uh, make sense in every country. It, it would. And I just don't know how it's allocated there. Of I course, know how it's done here. Course, right? right. When we had the light rail come up, yes. businesses along yes. like 19th Avenue closed and yeah. got bought on the corners right. and all that stuff. Right. So they used the eminent domain. The new 202 freeway. Right. They use eminent yeah, domain. They take it. They go, oh, we'll give you, you know, what's it called? Uh, fair market value. Of course. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. So why couldn't the government just do that? Right. We're going to take back. Here's we're going to take back half of this retail space. Um We'll get it back in a year or two, but we're going to pay you X, right? We'll pay you a year's worth of all of the income. In, in the in the case of the retail space, that's just going to be sold to a commercial real estate firm mm-hmm. that's already has gobs of money. Yeah, but they will be taxed on it. They will, and they and the, and the they already have people. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, right? I mean, in a way that it, you know what it. What if they divvied it up to each of the, like, what if the government then reallocated by the size of the company a percentage to each of the, you know, without them buying it? Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah, hey, yeah. develop this because ultimately it will generate revenue. It'll generate jobs. It'll generate X, Y, Z. Yeah. Well, they have retail spots already, but I mean, like, it'll generate some kind of revenue that they can pump back Downstream. into the system, right? Yes. I, I think I think we can come up with some ideas. What are your thoughts? I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I just don't want to see the. Other rich get rich, rich get, get richer. richer, right? I mean, okay, let's just say that 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 the government says, okay, we're gonna go down this road. Um, well, as I just yanked my microphone, did you yankee your wanky? Uh, did the dong need food? So, dong automobile, long <laughs> duck. duck. So, and that's just the commercial real estate. So, and I know there's. The All, that that whole list of shit, All the right. utility companies and the oil and the coal and the gas. And those companies are already billion dollar companies, if not multi billion. Right, those are already government owns the coal oil, right? And they need somebody to work it. So they do government contracts just like they do for all the oil and fracking and whatever drilling they do here, right? Right, but I, mean, I just don't want to see the rich get richer. Yeah, but so how do you make that? I don't know the answer of the, how you make it 
less monopolistic. Right. Well, those those companies are entitled because they are regulated strongly because they are natural monopolies. Right? They're they're a utility. You can't go in your backyard and drill for oil and get natural gas, or whatever. Or right? maybe just like water and sewer, yeah, electricity. I know. Right, right, we've had the conversation. The, these are all natural monopolies. So they're already under governmental regulation as much as they can right. be. So that yeah, Exxon is going to be the size Exxon is going to be, but they're still regulated by safety measures and all these of other course, things. Of course, that's not my point. What we would then do is, is for the mineral rights, we do the same thing. We'd consider the minerals a natural resource, and that's owned still by the government to be to re- be regulated to all the drilling companies that want a contract to go there. That doesn't help the common man, dude. It, no, that money will go back into infrastructure and everything. The companies that mine it will only be paid for their time and and whatever mining it. The minerals themselves should be the rights of the government of the of the country. Does that make sense? No, and I don't care. The, well, think about it this way. Every diamond that gets plucked, all you pay is for the equipment and the worker to pluck I the just diamond. I don't care. But you get back the but, diamond. What part of I don't care don't you understand? Well, because we didn't finish the Bro, problem. I will poke you in the thingy. The issues the, have not been clear. I guess the only way that I, one way that I could see a possible solution is that if these chunks of revenue generating opportunities are given back to the people or given back to companies, those chunks, if they can mandate, they are based upon profit sharing so that the, the, the revenue is pushed down to the common employee. What about free well, th- this is this is how I see it. See, I think I don't know if we're on the same page. No, we're not at all. It's my opinion that the only money that the that the mining company will get is for their labor, their equipment and labor costs. So the worker gets one hundred dollars an hour. They charge two hundred to the government, right? Because they have to get some money for their labor, right? They have to mark it up. Yeah. Also, their trucks and all that stuff. But the actual minerals themselves. The companies themselves do not get rich off of those. Those are bel- that belong to the state. So all of the wealth of the diamond, the actual pieces, that will get reallocated to the people. How? Through edu- free education. Oh, free- so it's like... Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Saying they, I, didn't, I, I didn't understand anything. Okay. So my point is this. The contracts that they do are only to extract the natural minerals. So I, I say I will take out all the minerals for... $100 an hour or right. $1 million right. an hour, right, right, right. whatever. How long times the hours, okay? Kind of like a like yeah, uh, you're building doing a, a building a, 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 a request for pricing. Yeah, exactly, right? That but the but the actual materials don't belong like the oil belongs to the oil company. Yeah. This would not be that case. Okay. You, the the actual materials would belong to the state. The state would then rev, generate revenue from that, monetize it by selling or however, right? Jewelry or whatever they want to do. And then they would take that money. That would go back to the people. Yeah. However, it is whether it's uh, what's that called? Universal basic a UBI maybe thousand a month, or or edu- free education for every. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All that, like free laptop, free books, free everything. College you know, tuition. That. Yeah. For, for, uh, Audible accounts for everybody. Yeah. That kind of thing. Does that make a little? Is yes. it a little more clear? Now I may I not you. have been clear. No, I no, no. Now I got you. Okay. So that's just my thought. Um, so I dig that. I feel like they need to have a sit down. I'd be like, bitch, keep your bats and you can, <laughs> you got the fucking swans. I don't give a shit. We, we need the seabed back. Like <laughs> we're, we're going to have to take that back. Yeah, I would agree. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of how I feel about it. But what, you know, what's more important than what we feel about it. Uh, what, what you feel about it. That's true. America. I'm not or even in all there. the world, uh, not just America. Uh, oh yeah. Canada, world. UK. I like to know what people from the UK think. We're going to hear from Tatiana for sure. <laughs> I guarantee it. I think we're going to hear from a gentleman named Jay as well. Nice. I like to know. Alpha Alpha will. You should reach out. I should. Ask uh, them. Cause they have Canadian money with a UK queen on it. That's yeah. fucking weird. Well, they are part of the UK still allegedly in some way. I I'm, st- I st- I'm stumped. I didn't want to go that deep into how they got their money. I'm just looking at all the gobs they have and the shit's got to go back. Cause they got it off the backs of the people who died for them over all those years. Cause somebody claimed it. It wasn't even like it only became a birthright on the first birth. Right. To and your point. It, yeah. Someone was like you Woodsy, and work really hard 
to get that shit. Right. And then, and then if you had a child, yeah, your child would get all your stuff. So that was the birthright. It was only till the birth, but those, those wars that went on to acquire that, how many people died over that stuff over just the greed of humanity? Right. Once again. Yeah. And we talk systems and this just sounds like a system that needs to be readdressed. I would agree. I think it's antiquated, uh, antiquated for hundreds of years. Hundreds. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's so stupid. I agree. We have anything else to add to this before and we dolphins, uh, call dude? New... Come on. Yeah, dolphins and bro. doggies and swans. Oh my, that's ridiculous. Bro, how dare they? How, and how do you own the shelf, the continental shelf? Up Fuck to two hundred miles or whatever. I mean, how do you own seabed? Uh, I or don't know. how do you own only dolphins within three miles, but not eleven? I'm still confused about international waters now. Was, We're going to have to do if not conscious on international water rights uh, uh, laws. Okay. And by the way, Prince Charles' ears are goofy. I and in my opinion, that. Prince Andrew is a POS. I'm just uh, saying. Okay. Um, I also would love to hear feedback. Please listen, rate, review, subscribe. Um, I do want to hear what Tatiana from Canada believes or thinks. And the UK people. We have UK peoples. Yeah, like... Uh, are we full of shit? I ask that every podcast. Live, help yeah. us out. Right. In the UK? Totally. Um, we need to know. So tell us. I ha- I would like, to- I would hope that people know that I have the very strong capability of changing my mind. Oh, yeah. That's been proven, bro. Okay. I would like to restate that just one more time for the record. Even on the cyber world, 5,000 people saw that was today. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was really nice of them to. to- to say how embarrassed and shamed I was. No, no, <laughs> no but it was a compliment, dude. It was, it was, real. It was about a how about how objective you are. Yeah, it was be, an amazing statement. To be clear, to on, your to your ability to think clearly and weigh the information at hand and admit when you're wrong. And that, dude, you. that's fucking, thank dude. You. Not a lot of people can go. Fuck, man, I was wrong. I wish that, more would just really honestly look at themselves. I really do, and I, I'm I'm not perfect. That's not a that's hard for humans. Dude. I'm still biased too, man. Well, I've got my filters, that's and my biases. A common thing for all right. of us. I've got all my perspective perceptions, all the filters which with through which I look at the world. However, yes, thank you. That is very kind, and thank you, Taj uh, Taj Jackson, mm-hmm. Danny Oliver. Today they had a ghost watching party, and it was like a three hour long thing. And Tony from MJ News Digest. Yeah. Um, thank you, Tony, um, told me or told us about that. They gave a shout out to us. And basically in the Taj Jackson episode, we talked about how much, how I felt after watching a certain show and then how I changed my mind after watching another show and how compelling the evidence was. And they were just, they were very kind in stating that, you know, that I was, I felt embarrassed and ashamed really but i was actually more angry i was i was angry because i was manipulated by a system in my opinion and these are all these systems i'm this isn't a bitch fest we're really trying to address ways to make this better right yeah like when we talked about cti what was the solution weight limits cti cte C-T-E-I, cte oh i'm sorry cte the cti right the index or something yeah these are just thoughts these are ideas those are starting points spitballs how do we fix this the government needs to have a sit down with these people yes and say this is the people's yeah. or, or a good chunk of it is the people's to the point where you can still live without a care in the world. You could fucking have a plum cart or whatever. That's it. That's all you need. Do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like, I agree. And still, more, it's still more, it's still less than anything they acquire. It was, over all it's these more times. than anyone would ever need in yes. their lifetime and, and or their grandchildren's lifetimes. And I'm a, look, I'm, I'm fiscally conservative, socially progressive. My fiscal conservativeness always talks about hard work ethic. And that's where I, that's why you and I, even though some of our philosophical, we have philosophical differences. We do. We're both hard workers. Absolutely. Extremely hard workers. And that's something that we believe in. Yes. This, this isn't, I mean, yeah, they had wars, but they, their people died for them. It's not like they really had the wars. Well, you know I mean? Both Prince. William and Prince Charles were in the military. That is true. But what job do you think they and had? Do you Prince think they had Harry the Elvis too. job or do you think they had the freaking uh, front uh, line job? I, I don't know. Right? I can't say. Yeah. Let's find out. I mean, I know one was a pilot. Wasn't yeah. William or Harry? Harry? Harry was a pilot. Helicopter, right? Yeah, I thought he was a jet, but I don't know. I, uh, he could very well be both. He's got beautiful hair. Could he be both of them? And he has Meghan Markle. Yeah, that's not bad either. That's Look, this is what I'd be like. I'd be like, oh... You want it, you want everything back? Do I get to keep Megan? Because that's all I need, <laughs> right? 
I just name it. I'll Give live me in Canada. Markle. You can have all the seabed and the dolphins and the dorgies you want. I'll and I'll live in Canada. I mean, look, and they don't need to buy. I'm worry, good with Megzi. They don't need to worry about money, right? I would. Think, yeah, they just don't have to worry about money. I mean, he's he's going to be okay. He's um, just not a. Is he not a prince? I don't they, care. I'm they sorry. Deroy- no, I withdraw ready? the question. They deroyalfied him, and they're just popular. And it's my opinion, if we were two names, that we maybe we may, we may more people would listen to us. Do yeah. you, would you uh, like to be Prince Checkmark? No. Uh, checkmark, checkmark kill people. He does not fight for no one. What? He says He's a mercenary. Mercenary, yes. Mercenary of the law. That's a word. Of, yeah. That is the word for which I am looking. Yes. The mercenary. I afford to looking for mercenary job position, please. <laughs> Senior mercenary analyst the third. Please report to the, our super senior producers, Mary's desk in the morning. Oh my God. For your next assignment. I'm looking forward to You're that. like Charlie's angel, but different. <laughs> I'm Drew Barrymore. You're Mary's demon. I'm Drew Barrymore. I God. Hey guys. You guys are great. I forgot what we did on last date. You want to go out again? Okay. I don't, that sounds like a horrible Drew Barrymore. Just she keep running. Like a, she seems like a sweetheart though. The phone keeps ringing, bro. Uh, is it? Nothing but trouble, bro. <laughs> um, it's an election year, and we're fine. Oh no, it's away. not that. No, I know. No, it's not. It's, it's been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Boom, 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 boom. To the good old boys, never meaning to harm. Bap, 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 bap. Is this Bo Duke? Or is this Luke Duke? This is good, man. Uh, they were royalty in the South. They was because yeah, they they obviously well they weren't really royalty. They did. And they fucked Daisy. They did. Well, that was their cousin. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, it was they did have the General Lee. So. Uncle Jesse's daughter. Oh, whoa. Well, who was Cooter? Coo, 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 coo. <laughs> coo, coo, coo. You know, there's a restaurant. Cooter wasn't Coo, coo, coo. Roscoe P. Coltrane was Coo, uh, coo, coo. You know, there's a restaurant Roscoe called... Roscoe P. Coltrane. Coo, coo, coo. What? There's a restaurant called Cooter's. Oh, yeah, I bet. It's, I, I, bet it's I drove club by club. it. I was like, you, holy shit, it's called Cooter's. It's not, it's not a strip club no, called Cooter's? No, the General Lee's parked out front. Called Hoochie's? That yeah, the hoochies is there. I didn't see it though. Or is it coochies? Hoochie coochies? Yes. Is it there a Regal Beagle that used to be open in Phoenix? Uh, sure. I believe it was. I believe it was on the Kyrenes or the Jack Chandlers. Tripper was the main manager. Jack Tripper. <laughs> Don't trip him. Oh shit. We <laughs> Piper Dode. I'm ho- Piper. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this... Okay, Spirit just told us to shut this fucking thing down. Um, now, the uh, microphone came off the desk, ladies and gentlemen. And now dogs are arguing at us. I didn't and spill a drop, Holy... Though. Super excited. Oh, my God. Hold on. I got to get you in the frame, bro. <laughs> okay. i like to now show everyone the microphone that I'm holding. Oh, boy. Because it are, came right <laughs> off the fucking desk. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. I was right. so startled. Sir, I, I was also... And the dog is having a shit fit down. <laughs> And on, and on that, uh, that's how that thing does what it does, by the way. <laughs> Did I do that? Did I do that? Um, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that? Wow, that's some fucking season. Hi, league. Carl. Did I do that? Uh, no, you did not, Steve Urkel. What sorry. the? F- I'm sorry I broke your desk, bro. <laughs> Dude, I think I broke it. Uh, you know what's funny is I tried to tighten it less so it wouldn't break the table, and now I, I probably broke the mic. No, you didn't. Oh. You can still hear me. Did and you? I can see the little green line over hey, there, bro. Did, did you do that? I did that. <laughs> and on that note, sir. Yes. Uh, thank you for joining us for another Knock to Conscious. Thank you. We, once again, we want to we wanna address systems. We don't want to blow everything up, but we do want to Just the microphone. Them. Yeah, we just want to blow up <laughs> that and the dog's attitude downstairs. <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> Chris took a couple oh, selfies. A cocktail, he will be posting bro. them next. Uh. We need... The tail. You need a oh, tail. I need a I don't tail. Think you need the, the tail, cock. Barbara. Whoa. Cocktail. Uh, oh, yeah. What are you talking about I, again? I don't know. All drinks. I know. Need drinks. We got to go. Peace out. We're calling tonight. We'll, we're going to be recording on Rate, Sunday. Download, subscribe, leave comments. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Well, happy belated. Happy Halloween. Because we're we're two days prior to Halloween on the recording. Yes, and sir. And we'll record a couple after. Yes, so. sir. Thanks so much. Hey, I'm really looking forward to going to your house, man. I know. We can do Halloween in the we're driveway. We're going to carve pumpkins. Smoke and we're going to have cigars. We're going to have Costco cheesecake. I'm going to make enchiladas. Enchilada? Si. Thank you, sir. Be we're excellent to each other well. and Correct. party on. Oh, can you say it one more time, sir? Be excellent to each other and party on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>